It's happening. Are we all still connected audio-wise? Is everyone just quiet? Yes, sir. All right. <laughs> I just wanted to make sure it wasn't just me. No, you're you're also the stream can hear you if if anyone's in here yet. There we go. Uh, uh. So we're all just gonna stay here and like not say anything on stream. Sounds good. Yep, sounds good to me. All right. For just until, I, just work. until I bring you in. Coming soon. Yep. All right. Bringing you all on, but give me a second. You're gonna be on camera. Oh no, we're going live. God damn it, Claymore. All right. Welcome to episode one of whatever this is. This uh, is a thing. This is a thing. Um, so this is yep. a D&D campaign that uh, a few friends of mine have wanted to do, so I wrote a campaign up, and uh, this is episode one. Uh, we don't have a title yet. The title will come when these bards and the monk make their band name. It could be today. Uh, so I'll, I'll introduce everybody. The Bark Force for um, So first, uh, go ahead physicist introduce your character to us hi uh so i'm physicist and uh my character is he's musakari he's musakari he's a he's a guy he's pretty tall he's got some like wavy black hair that constantly seems to be moving around his father was the loot player he's been making his way around as an entertainer you know maybe occasionally pick pack pocket in the bad tip and noble Otherwise, he's just playing his big old gigantic contrabass flute. He seems to be the only one that can play a thing like that. So, so damn fast and so damn funky. <laughs> All right, you thank want you. any more? Thank you for that. That's good. <laughs> uh, I got backstory if you want it. I think we can get to that later. Uh, Slash Muffin, right. go ahead and introduce your character. Uh, so I'm Slash Muffin. I'll be playing as Jillian Goodbarrel. She's a bard halfling. Uh, she grew up in a small town and uh, was one day visited by uh, a famous bard who was also a halfling by the name of uh, Johnny Johnny Flam. And uh, he gifted her an instrument and then she decided that she was gonna live her life like him and travel the land and become a famous bard. Somebody played Octopath Traveler. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Alvin. Um, yeah. <laughs> uh, God damn it, Mike. Uh, go ahead and introduce us to your character. Hello. My name's Clea Gorb. I don't really have a backstory, but I do have a song to explain who I am and what I do. And here it goes. Music makes me punchy. Fuck. Human bones are crunchy. I think I have a hunchy will be friends. That's all I have. 
I love it. I love it. I love it. It's so bad and I love it. Uh, so, and then that's, I mean, it's the best we get from, from a monk who's not even a bard. I, I don't blame you. I just have a draw, man. <laughs> the monk's got the songs. Oh, I love it. And finally, Clamor. Go ahead and introduce, introduce us to your character. All right, everybody. I am Nathan Explosion. I have a thing for everything black, as one would probably guess. I like to live relatively dark and beat the shit out of everything. More so than that, I've come from a music background. However, my former band disintegrated, so I'm now looking for new bandmates. That's good. Cool. And take over the world. Did they disintegrate in terms of like breaking up or actually disintegrated? They actually disintegrated. I, I was the only one that survived. It's a pretty high-level cleric spell, I believe. <laughs> they broke up into ten parts? It was no, more like not. 50. <laughs> All right, because so, they're five different people? I don't understand. So those, those are the four characters. Um, Play Gorb. You guys have a map of the um, the map that I gave you before, right? Yes, sir. Oh, okay. is it in the... It's yes. in the Discord. Oh. Okay. They're just... Just the one that was with our pictures on it? The one that had, like, the fleet flatlands? Yep. Yeah, but yeah, but it was just, like, the picture of the stream, basically. And that's fine. But you can use that if you need okay. to. But I... Yes, yeah, yeah. I Am I still streaming? We're, we're good. Okay. So, alright. So you find yourselves... Um, you have all been summoned. A, uh, you have all received messages from a specific fellow who brings you to the capital town of Sellas. The capital town of Selles is located in the bottom left of this continent. Um, it's a port town as well as a capital. It is known for its inner sanctum, where the town is built upon rings. So the outer ring is like the poorer section. And then as you get closer to the middle, where the capital is, it gets, you know, much more fancy, much more high class. So you've been summoned to this town. Um, you've been summoned to specifically the the Bard's College, and this is a Bard's College of Lore. So, the headmaster of this Bard College has summoned you here, um, and all he told you was that it's for an important mission. So, you find yourselves kind of like all congregating at the same time, and as you walk into this Bard's College, <clears throat> you notice that it's pretty nice. It's pretty fancy, you know, it's, it's in... getting closer to that inner sanctum. Um, it's definitely probably the nicest Bard's College you've ever seen. Um, definitely the nicest Bard's College I've ever seen. Uh, as you walk in, there's a, um, there's this, like, this desk, like a counter, and the receptionist there is this, um, small little tabaxi woman. Um, and she, uh, she sees you and she asks you, what is your business? So, hey there, huh? Usually I, uh, uh, smoke oh. tabaxi, I don't talk to them. Then uh, maybe I should handle this. Then uh, sorry. Hey there, hey there, ma'am. Uh, so we were we were, we were summoned here by by some. Uh, at least I was summoned here. I think these guys in the who were in the lobby with me. They've been saying some of the same stuff. They were summoned here to uh, meet the headmaster. I'm just hoping to meet some of the funky music that comes out of here. To be quite honest, how I don't know, but we were the headmaster wanted us to come for a important mission. I don't know nothing about important mission, but I am trying to jam with some of you people because I've met some of y'all and y'all can play. She looks at you. She looks at you and she's um she asks uh, to see um she asks to see your your like your letters the 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 letter you were you received that's kind of like your like pass in. Do I have a letter? Yes, you all have your letters. I'm going to add that to my inventory. That is fine. My letter is O. I didn't get a letter. You got a letter. It's just really big because you're really small. So you all present your letters to her. And she looks at you and she says, Very well. If you proceed into the conservatory, which is down the hall, you will find his his private study and he will see you so she points you in the direction of the study as you guys come up to the study you walk in and it's this really nice like really spacious two stories like two levels um open conservatory um kind of like ovaled so 
uh, in the back has like this really nice glass pane that like overlooks the uh, inner sanctum area. Like, I'm sorry, I'm there. sorry. One minute here. The uh, receptionist. I didn't get your name. Uh, her name. Her name is uh, Sheila. Uh, Sheila Little Paul. <laughs> Sheila. It was very nice to meet you here. I hope to see you around some more. <laughs> she says thank you, and you guys proceed. So you walk in, cool. and, and, and this this place is kind of like like it's shaped like um like an uh, I want to say like an oval. So the walls to the left and right, two stories are, are filled with books, just tons of books. Um, and as you get to the back, it's just like two window panes, like on both floors, just overlooking the um like out looking towards the inner sanctum so it's definitely pointed towards the nice like area um and standing on the second floor looking out as he hears you walk in is uh, rather like a, like he's like kind of a getting close to middle-aged uh human and uh he's wearing some very nice robes you know this is a very you know very nice man uh, yeah, give me one second, I'll do that. So this is a very, like, you know, very, like, uh, well-dressed man. Um, and he, uh, he hears you walk in, and he turns around, and he looks to you all, and he's like, Ah, you must be the four that I've summoned here! And, um, yeah, so this is, this is man, uh, he looks to you, and he's like, Please, please, have seats and there there are chairs like on the side like you know like so like, there's a couple tables so you can pull some chairs up he walks down the stairs and he's standing in front of you as you guys take your seats i don't have seats seats have me mm. i'll sit i shall stay standing oh be my guest whatever you're more comfortable with i uh, oh, sit down and i actually just kick my feet up on the seat in front of me as well Man, this guy's really cool, guys. I don't, I don't know if we can aim. <laughs> so this man, this man looks to you as he like he is like holding his like you know like his robes. He's doing that kind of like that southerner, like oh hello there, you know like the suspenders holding them like very like you know he's very strong. So he looks to you and he introduces himself as. So I bring up my file. Oh yes, thank hello, you for Mr. coming bring here. Hello, Mister. Bring up my file. How y'all doing? Now that is not my name. My name is Mordecai Lefelch. Mordecai. Sorry. Mordecai Before we move on, Lefelch. can I get everyone's name again? I'd like to write it down because I'm bad at remembering names. Like, sure, my name is I'd Trey. Like your name's too. Trey. My name's not Trey. <laughs> I'm calling you <laughs> Trey now. I don't. It's written down. I don't know what to say. <laughs> Real, real no, no, my name, my name, <laughs> my, name, my name is Hayes. Hayes Musakari. Trey's Hayes. Cool. So Hayes, uh, you've got an interesting accent. Is that Elvish? It sounds a lot like Elvish. Hey man, I, I'm not. I'm not really an Elvish. I didn't really hang out with those guys. Okay. The, no, so I don't like. Yeah, I, 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 I get, get it. I get it, Mike. <laughs> Elvish. God damn it. Everybody else, I know Dave. <laughs> <laughs> that wasn't even what I was going for. All right. Uh, that's, a, that's a good pun. It's a good pun. I'll give you that. Thank you. There's more to come. You get inspiration? No. No, no you don't. Mike. <laughs> Not Mike Pearson. The other one. <laughs> oh, know, Mike. Uh, I'm Jillian Goodbarrel. Jillian. Trey Hayes, Jillian, and Nathan. Cool. Yes. Got it. What was your name again? Kleegorb. Kleegorb. Kleeg for sure. Uh, Kleegorb. All right, so Mordecai, Mordecai stands in front of you. He's like, ah, oh, so now that we are all introduced with each other, I do believe you received my letters, and I'm, I'm very glad you came here today. Yeah, all right. See, this is a Bard's College of Law, and as such, we study a lot That's of That's right, law. and I'm here, I'm here to jam with some Bards, to be honest. Well, there's going to be a lot of jamming because I have to, uh, I have to say you four match the description of this, this poem I found not too long ago. As some of these weird things were happening around the town and around the land here. If you, uh, if you don't mind, I'd like to read you this poem. 
So he pulls from his pocket this, like, nice piece of paper that he's definitely... This is, like, it's been transcribed onto this piece of paper. This isn't the original paper. So he's holding it, and he um, he begins to read to you. Like, he begins to recite this poem, this, like, prose, um, which comes from lore, and he believes that it speaks about the four of you. So... Four crystals lie, for earth, fire, water, sky. Spew forth light so pure, until the end be nigh. Sir, so I'd ask you for to stop that, please. I'm trying to, oh, trying to be serious I thought, I, thought, here. I thought this was a fucking bard's college, man. I'm this trying is to make a bard's some... college of lore, yeah. but I'm trying, He's to, just trying to jam I'm him. trying to give you the story. Just trying to jam. Damn I, thought, I thought that's what we were. I thought I thought we were gonna jam. Sorry. We will, sir, sir, we we will certainly be jamming. You just just hold your horses. All Good right things now. coming down. Uh, I may restart the poem. I'm very sorry. For crystals lie, for earth, fire, water, sky. Spew forth light so pure until the end be nigh. Light wavers and wanes for the light's bane, calling out to the fall the crystals in pain. These four shall strum, sing, breathe, and drum. They shall join and form a core, and may, and be the last against that which may come. The call of song shall knock upon the door, a call to save the broken and the poor. And thus enticed by the law from the sea of cellars, they shall come ashore. A boy with skin of hue, soft like a sky so blue, the first come to save as he plays the didgeridoo. A girl of statue so small, but with a bang to fill any hall. The second so tiny, but so brave, and with these beats she shall enthrall. A man of scales and fangs releases the sounds of twangs. The third shall rant and rave to heed the call as the balance hangs. A beast of a brute with his conviction suit. The fourth fueled by his crave, his fists and mind bear fruit. I believe these four are you. That and last we, one's me. And we have had some issues around I thought this the la- land. But the last one was me. I don't know. No. Wait, no. No. Was I the athlete? Anyway, all right. Sorry. Right. Yes, I'd like to ask you to help me on this quest. Uh, and as he as he as he says that, he also proceeds to right. to bring upon the map, the same map I gave you guys. And he shows you this map that has, like, these oh. markings on it. And he, he begins to explain the map. He's like, here, in this land, we have uh, we have these things called crystals. There's four of them. And they provide our land with sustenance. They keep our fruits. They keep our trees bearing fruit and our harvests plentiful and the beasts back. But they are slowly waning. And we need to collect because them. We need to collect them and pre- perform a ritual on them to purify them and bring them back to their old selves before they fall. And if they fall, this land shall turn to rot. I believe, looking at my books here, I have located the four. The, the, I've located where the four of them may be. So here we are in the capital town of Sellers. Over by this lake of the Azure is the town of Harmony. Now, Harmony, an old tale tells of that town as holes in one of the crystals. That crystal helped that uh, that town and that lake there stay plentiful with fish and with wind power. But lately, the fish have all been dying and the winds have died down. Uh, the town there, Verdant, there's a little church there in that town. Have a, have a, excuse me, excuse me. Have the people there just kind of close their eyes and just kind of imagine the wind blowing past them, and then that usually makes the wind blow, don't it? They try to imagine that wind when you know they're not being hunted by the demons. Mm. Oh, those demons! Yeah, there's been some reports out of that town. The villages have kind of all, kind of. They're kind of being kept uh, shut in the houses. They refuse to talk to anyone. They they claim that they're being haunted. Have uh, they tried talking to these demons? You know, maybe they can be friends or something. Can't can't say if they have or not. Only heard reports. All right, all right. 
And then uh, there's the town that Verdant. Uh, Verdant, this town here connects to that town. You know, they're very, very close friends. Uh, but, but the people there say they haven't heard anything from Harmony. Uh, and then, we, then over further to the west, you got this glorious mountain range where the dwarves used to live. And I say used to live. You got Marvel, the dwarven city, long since abandoned. A lot of people going through there and picked it apart. Now, well, might not be that many treasures there anymore, but it used to house a crystal. Still might. Hopefully it does. And to the north of there, you have the Wood of the Seer. Dip, deep, deep, thick woods. Deep and thick. Get lost in them woods. But there's a reason why those woods are so thick. Is that uh, a thick with two C's? That's yeah, thick with a couple C's, not just two. All right. Oh, he said oh, thick oh, wood. Oh. <laughs> too cute thick. And the east, east of that, uh, east of that there woods is uh, it's the town of Faber. Good old woodland town. Very nice people there. They might be able to help you on your way traverse through them woods. And then further east against the shoreline is. So we don't we don't remember that city very much. Law doesn't run very deep there. We just know that it's ruined. But that it used to house a crystal. We don't know what's going on there. It could be something. It could be dangerous. Probably dangerous. <laughs> Probably. I mean, Probably dangerous. But that's why I summoned you for. This whole world is treacherous. No, yeah. So, that's because the crystals the are world. dying. <laughs> We need your help to save the world. I'm in. Why, why does the world need crystals again, man? They the help provide sustenance the to the land. Work in the earth. You got a water crystal that? that makes the fish. You got a wind crystal that helps the fish. You got an earth crystal that makes the fish stay in the water. And you got a fire crystal that makes sure <laughs> the fish stay in the water. It's simple. Hey, yeah, man. Weren't you listening? Oh, no. the fire oh, crystal it, sounds like, it, sounds like this, it sounds like this business ain't too good for fish and that kind of so I'm down to help. You were you were right. caught right in that one there, son. The are four crystals. They are earth, wind, fire, and water. Uh, mm. Only one of them really has to do with fish, though. Oh. <laughs> oh. Right. Well, let's let's get that one though. At least. Yeah, let's get that fish one. I will be joining you boys along this quest. Uh, right. Because. Oh, no man, I fucking hate chaperones. Uh, go ahead and roll me a perception check. Me? Who's gonna do uh, it? All four of you. All right. Alexa, roll one d twenty. I got a. I got nineteen. <laughs> okay. I got fourteen with my perception bonus. Uh, sixteen. I got a nineteen. All right. I don't so... get a perception bonus. <laughs> Playing Despacito. Uh, so, um. <laughs> So in the back by the by the window pane, you notice this interesting looking like uh, you don't know what it is, but you can tell that it it's like this contraption that houses like it definitely has four specific chambers, and you're kind of gaining from this perception and from what he's talking about that this is where the purification is going to happen. So the reason you know. So he looks at you and he turns around. He's like, "Yes, this here, this machine here, we're gonna bring the four crystals back here. We're gonna put them in this machine and purify them, and we're gonna put them back where they came from." How uh, gonna, that's gonna, how'd you come across? Uh, how how did you come across the machine? Has this all been done before? Well, it was part of the law that said where to find this. Said if I if I go off on the seas and if I were to to kind of go treasure hunting down in the waters, I will find something related to an old Fish. civilization that, that has to have probably done this thing before. You will very merry so, very So you went well on a treasure be. hunt? Did you go on a treasure hunt? I did go on a treasure hunt. Question. How was that, man? Was that, was that a, quite the fucking adventure? My accent is dying. Um, <laughs> he's Musakari. All right. It was That's quite the adventure. That's how I also found the lore that speaks of you for. I feel like a lot of us are going to go in and out of our voice. I think it's just because we're, uh, you know. Not voice actors. Not voice actors. That's probably what it is. 
I mean, clearly we'll work on it. We'll work on it. We'll work on it. Because I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be deep into this haze. It's a carnival. All right. So, what even is a voice actor? You're either an actor or not. So you guys have been, uh, you guys have been told like uh, what the what the 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 overall arching mission of this is gonna be. Right. Um, Save the fish, man. We have to collect the four crystals. That that would be correct. There. Um, and then we have to make music and too. make metal. Question. Uh, uh, <laughs> metal man, I'm trying to get down with the funk here tonight. I'm trying to play with some funky shit with some funky motherfuckers in this bard college. That's why I got here. But if I, we can help some fishes, then I'm down too. Okay. Uh, you there. Question. Yeah, you go ahead. Question. Um, do we get any sort of reward for doing this? Oh, well, of course. You will be granted... Some re- you'll be granted a residency here in the Bard's College of Law, and I'm certain upon these Ooh. journeys you will find many things to sing and and do your performances about. You'll See, be added to the law. Hold on. I'm You're a monk. Funk. I came to this Bard College mm, to learn the arts college. of the monk. Is that going to well, happen for me? For you, you were going to learn a lot about your journey by being the bodyguard for the monks. For the, the bodyguard. Yeah, also, a bodyguard. One. It seems like I'm set up for disappointment here. One more. As an additional, as an additional reward for finishing this quest, I would like a cane on top of an axe, right? On top of one cent. So, some sort of cane on accent. If you could do that for me, I don't know. I can do that just fine. Oh, yeah, more. I got it already. Wait, now, wait, wait, wait. Now. How is a cage going to, ma- like, like, uh, like, balance on top of a, on top of you an axe? You press the axe flat. Oh. Yeah, that's easy. Anyway, go on. Sorry to interrupt. So I'm going a, I'm to a leave it up <coughs> to you there, Fall, to, uh, to choose which way you want to be proceeding about this there quest. Ooh. Well, uh... I suggest we help the fishes first. Cause... Oh, you want to help the fishes, you say? I want to help the fishes. So maybe oh, we should go down to uh, Verdant and uh, to talk to some people, see if we can get away across the lake and uh, get on over to Harmony. See yeah. if anyone in Verdant can tell us anything about anything in Harmony. Maybe they got some relatives there or whatnot. That sounds more like the plan there. Verdant's kind of well, how first, you want to go First, we're in, the big, we're in the big city right now, though, right? Yeah, we are in the yeah, big we're city. In this, this capital I, mean, I think city. we gotta we gotta make use of where we at first. Unless. So, you know, I mean, we got time for these crystals, right? I mean, let's go out, get a few drinks, like play some music, hear some funky music. Oh. I ain't never been to this city before. I'm trying to get a little piece of that local culture. That's true. I've heard the ale around here is really great. I don't mind. Oh, uh, we should yes. probably get ourselves a drink and uh, maybe maybe learn a little bit more about ourselves. As long as I get that cage on accent, I'm you down a, ready. You get your cage on an accent. <laughs> okay. All right, there, Remy LeBeau, you'll get it. All right now, but uh, yeah, let's uh have a good night time in the city here, and then tomorrow morning maybe we'll uh. Maybe we'll, maybe we'll go, go check out the local music scene, check out the local ale scene, check out the local lady scene, and uh. And tomorrow morning, maybe we'll head to that head to that Verdant. Is that that sounds, sounds good? With good. Everyone here? And, uh, maybe if we all get right big now. enough, we can all just go ahead and say "Dilly Dilly." <coughs> Sponsor us, Dilly Dilly. Dilly. But also, I have no objections. So, whatever you guys want to do, I'm. I am oh. down with this. All right, so all right you all want to head to the local tavern? Yes. All right, so yeah, do you want yeah, to go to? There's a couple taverns in this in this city. Um, there are a couple of there's like one nice tavern in, near the area. There's a few taverns like um, on the further outside of the inner sanctum. Uh, and of course, you know, based on economics and things like that, the the clientele are definitely different at every tavern. You know, this one that's close to the Bard's College has more of your like. <coughs> upper society kind of like your your higher your upper middle class uh people there you know they're probably drinking autumnal beer ales you know it's that time uh, of year 
no, no, not where I want to go. <laughs> uh, no matter where we go, I want to put on makeup Gosh. first. Okay. Well, I need to pee. That. If I need to, I'll pee. You want to put makeup on me, man? I could use some makeup. Why not? It'd be fun. Right, sure, so, I could. And then, and then on the uh, on the outside, draw like a little, little flower or something. I don't know. Man. On the outside perimeter of the town, like as you get further and further out of the town, <coughs> the the taverns are much more kind of like down to earth. They're more like you know working people, um, especially by the port. There's a lot of like fishermen, um, probably a lot of really good tales there of people who have like worked and seen some stuff. That's where I say we go. That sounds pretty good. What do we got? What do we got on the outside bits that aren't by the port? Uh, on the outside bits that aren't by the port, right mostly back. like there would be more farmers. There would be more people who work the land. It seems to be like you know where the on the outer circle. If you get like further and further away from the port, like from the sea, so, uh, you're gonna find more I... and more like farmers and you know people <coughs> who work the land, people who work steel mills, and, like you know people who work as black. Mordecai, mm. Mordecai, Mordecai. Yes, my boy. What can I do? I, I, I'm looking. I'm looking for some funky shit. I'm looking for some shit I ain't seen back where I'm from. I'm looking for a dirty fucking place with some dirty fucking musicians. Get down. Well, I can where, tell where by your language go, that you're a dirty fucker. <laughs> yep. That's I'd rather right. go by the. And book. I cast um, press the digitation to make myself really smelly. Like just, just like haven't showered in like three weeks. Well, then, my boy, I tell you, I tell you that, I tell you that, I tell you that, because I'm not Foghorn Leghorn. This is this uh, the sort of place like, I want. You reek like an ass's ass. What bar do I smell like? <laughs> what bar do I smell like right now? What bar do I smell like right now? You smell like the stinky mule. Let's all go to the stinky That's mule. The stanky yeah, mule. Go. I want to go to the stanky mule. Right. I want to go to the stanky mule. The stanky I do mule not want is. to go to the stanky mule. <laughs> the stanky mule it is. Damn. All right, everybody is dragging me there. I don't want to go. There. <laughs> I mean, I mean mule. come on, you guys are all bars. I can do that. <laughs> yep. Now, I mean, um, my strength is uh, nineteen, so I can drag you anyway. I don't... <laughs> um, so you all go towards the uh, the stanky mule. This is, are, uh, are you are you actually refusing to go though? Oh yeah, I don't want to go to the stanky mule. I, I'd rather go to maybe somewhere in the middle. It's it's in character. <sighs> that is definitely I mean, in character. Of Julian we... Good Barrel. Let's not fight, guys. I'm not trying to strike oh, away from the God, first. God. We can. I'm I'm down with a little bit of compromise here. Let's I say we maybe split the party. Go to a bar. In near the sea, where of course you want to see. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. I have a, I have a bit of compromise here. Which one didn't shower? We can, we can go to the stanky mule, and if someone smells like this, you let me know. You give me a little signal, and I can, uh, I can just do a little bit of, and I cast prestidigitation and make myself like perfectly beautifully clean. Your voice changed there. That was weird. And I can do that with, um, I mean, yeah. Right. Okay. But uh so but yeah, so so does that, does that does that uh how do you feel about that? Were you worried about the smell? Is that That's it? 4K with me, so it's up to you guys. No no no, I'm talking to Jillian. It just no. sounds Jillian. smelly and gross. I'm fine That's with where you. the good shit's gonna be though. Jillian, Jillian, Jillian. You a drummer, right? I'm a drummer. I have a drum, I'm not a drummer. Jillian, Jillian, Jillian. But I'm not a these places all these places all in the middle here, they're gonna play shit you've been hearing every fucking day since you were a little kid. If we wanna find that real shit, that shit we gotta go a little on the edge. It's gotta be a little uncomfortable. But I like and you're gonna find songs. <sighs> <laughs> what I feel like this is not just in character, but you out of character it. too. <laughs> you and both are crunchy. I have oh. a good hunchy, we'll be friends. That's, anyway, wait a minute. Is the stanky mule that avant garde? Because I think maybe we boy and. I think that's where the real shit is. You know what I mean. I think that's where we need to head. We need we to find go to the stanky. Uh, well, all right, let's go get stanky boys. Yeah. And I cast yeah. prestidigitation and make every single one of us really. Really what? <laughs> like pretty, like pretty fucking smelly. Oh, and, uh, and I. 
I just give Jillian a giant grin. Is yeah, there uh, what? Uh, come on what now. do you call it? Is there a <laughs> plumbing and shit in this town? What's up? I got aqueducts. I'm upset that I well, can't yeah, unpress there, the digitation. There is, there, is, there is plumbing. <laughs> you totally can, Mike. Oh, I don't have press the digitation. Well, then. that's fine. Everyone thinks orcs stink anyway. <laughs> So you are, all, you are all stinky? Mm-hmm. Because, We're stanky. Yeah, because you're stanky, stanky. Now. Going to that stanky mule. So, yeah. stanky mule. So as you approach the... Uh... Mordecai is stanky too, by the way. Yeah, Mord- Mordecai's not happy with you. Um, I'll just Who's say Mordecai? that. Mordecai? Mordecai's Mordecai? hanging out with Jillian right now. Mordecai. Because the two of them are like, nah, not wanting to be stanky. Mordecai. Mordecai, we're going to show you a great motherfucking time tonight. Don't you worry. Just go. Just, just let, let go, brother, and go with it. Go with it. You're going to have a great motherfucking time. It's Mordecai weird. After he gave me this cage like... on an axe on a piece of money, uh, I'm starting to talk different. I don't know what it is. Mordecai, Might looks, be the you. Alcohol. Mordecai looks to you and he's <sighs> like, I'll, I'll entertain your notions there, boy, because I find you fascinating. That's good. That's good. But he's clearly oh, on the inside. I don't feel him. He's I've heard that from a lot of people. Like, quite honest. He's willing to see where you're going, but he will probably bounce if it goes that's south what, quick. That's that's what a lot of people I bring home think. That's like most <laughs> bards I know. You think this is the first bard group I've been with? The last bard group I was with, I killed them all by accident. You didn't uh, disintegrate them now, did you? I can't help it. You didn't disintegrate them now, did you? Okay, okay. So, so you come across... Look at my backstory. You're on the west side of the town. Turns out they were all evil, so it's okay. So you're on the west side of Cellas. You're getting closer... You're getting closer to where the farms are, where, like, you know, there's, like, you know, stables. There's, you know, the corn being raised because, like, you're getting close to the outside of the town, like, where the town edges are. So, you know, that they're, like, pig farmers and, you know, people people just toiling, toiling away and just working the land. And, uh, and they come here to the stanky, the stanky, uh, was it the stanky mule? Stanky mule. Stanky mule right. just to get a, a quick drink and right. to get maybe get a little grub, you know, just... Just a moment of relaxation, a moment of peace in their busy lives. And their they got lives. a, they got a, they got a band playing. Uh, Not there, yet. there is no band playing right now because it's about it's about four in the afternoon on like a weekday. Like, are there any animals in the bar? Like, for instance, a stinky mule. There is, uh. There is a there is a stinky mule. It is the stinky mule. So there is a stinky mule, but he's not inside the bar. He's outside the bar as the mascot. Gotcha. I uh, go outside and I uh, go up to the stinky mule and I and I clean him up a bit. I cast some press digitation to make him make him a little cleaner. I'd like uh, to I'd like to speak with the stinky mule. I uh, speak with animals. You ask speak him, with animals. Ask okay. Him if he, you know what? Oh, okay. Ask him if he wants to be dirty again, because I don't want to impose my will on him if we can actually so, know what Okay, he wants. so so you, you Question, speak of animals. Does this mule speak gnomish? No, the the mule the mule just like will talk with people who speak with animals. Mm-hmm. So you talk with so so you talk to the mule. Yeah, I want to talk to the mule. All right, what, what do you say to the mule? Well, I mean, like, um, uh, I ask him if he would prefer to be stinky. First of all. Uh, you 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 can understand me. You can understand. Hi, hi how you doing? I'm, hi, hi. What, what's what's your name? Oh, I'm I'm Jillian. I'm Jillian. Jillian what's your name? Jillian, that, that's a cute name. My name? Oh, my name's Steve. I'm Steve the Mule. I I, I nobody ever speaks to me. This is so nice. <laughs> can you tell him what I can say? I mean, I, yeah, I guess I could, like, talk for Whoa, you guys. Okay, can you please does, tell does, him, um, what's up? Does Steve want to be stanky or not? Tell him, I, please. Oh, do, I, do, I, word. do I want to be stanky? stanky? I mean, I mean, I just, I just want to be a mule. If I just, I just, I don't, I don't know Did what you, the stanky how very is. Zen. I just live as a mule. I mean, I just cleaned you up a minute ago. Did you feel that? Can you yeah, translate? It feels, it feels kind of nice. You yeah, know, they don't, they don't really clean me that often. You know, I kind of just sit out here. 
and I'll be I'll be a cute little mascot yeah. for the place and they they all see me and they come in. I'm like the sign of the sign of welcoming, like, hey y'all, come into the stinky mule. I'm Steve. <laughs> Uh, it's real so weird. Well your adjusted. tail is pinned on. Who did that to you? What like, happened what? to your tail? My tail? My tail's still there. I don't know what you're talking about. What? what, what something happened to my tail? I, I can't see it. Yeah, it's literally just a belt with a brush on the end. Oh, that, that that that's normal? all. This is the first time seeing a dog. Uh, I, I, I don't know about that. The, the people kind of get drunk and do things to me. Mm, rough. Oh. Same thing happened to me first time I met. Nothing, me. nothing terrible, but like terrible. they like they like pet me really hard, and I don't like that. Steve, yeah. where did they touch uh, you? Like mostly on the head. They just kind of pet me really hard because <laughs> they drunk. Which head? Because because they they go in there and then they come out and they they kind of <laughs> smell like 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 you know like stanky like stanky. And then they pet me really hard on the head, and I, I don't like it very much. <laughs> I like it when they pet me nice and soft, like. I'll pet you soft. Can I really <sighs> pet this donkey? <laughs> yes, go ahead. You're an orc. Why do you have to roll? Because <laughs> he's an orc, and he might pet too hard. <laughs> he's mad strong, too. Oh, no. Nick, what kind of check is that? Yeah, I rolled a 12. A 12? Uh, you, kind you, of roll, you roll gently enough. Yeah, you, you, you're sure I don't know what fine. you guys are worried about. I just want to pet the dog. God, you're, you're gentle enough. Like, like you're, you're, you're like not Animal nice head. and gentle, yeah. but you're not like hard and he's slamming the head. Right. He wasn't like, weak, but he wasn't like this is nice. You're like yeah, he was worried that I'm so I can wrong. handle this. Jillian, this now. Jillian, are you glad we came here? You got to make a little donkey friend. This was nice. Come on, Jillian. I know you like making the donkey friend. Ain't no Julian, balls in that inner city yeah. gonna have any animals for you to talk to. I mean, Steve is really nice. Oh, thanks. Nice I think you're nice, too. I'm Steve the Mule. Wait, his name's Steve? I can't understand what he's saying. <laughs> I thought his name okay. was Steve. The, the, the big guy's making all kinds of noises. So you can tell, you tell, I, you can tell him stuff, right? Yes, I can tell him stuff. You can tell I can him tell. I like I like the drum thing he has with him. I think it's cool. Oh, thanks. I drew myself on it. Wait, wait, wait. Jillian can choose how she wants to translate. Actually, that's that's she... true. No. <laughs> uh... <laughs> it's clearly a him. I I I tell Glebe that he likes he likes his the the Steve likes your drum. Oh, okay. Thank you, Steve. I didn't know your name was Steve. And now that I know, I'm happy to have met you. I think we should go inside and stop talking to a donkey. There's people inside that we can talk to, and we can all talk to them. Hey, you know, I've, been, I've been talking us. to people my entire life. This is the first time I had myself a donkey translator. That's kind true. kind of chill with the donkey. What do donkeys have to talk uh, about? I don't know, man, but we never heard their perspective on shit before. Ask them about crystals. First Yo, we should just bring Steve into the Stanky Mule. I think like, Steve should join uh, the band. I don't, I don't, I don't know. Does, I don't know how they like that very much. Nah. I'm like, I'm supposed to be nah. the mascot, and I'm supposed to you like are the mascot. stay wait, wait, outside wait, 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 wait. and like be a sign Always of welcome. I don't, I don't think the owners would like very much if I come outside. That's why I'm tied up very here. Much. I'm tied you up like, here. Hey, I can't really hey, come outside. What's hey, up? y'all. You think, uh, you think Steve would like to be part of a little show? You think maybe we see if we get a get? <laughs> I think it would be really cool if we could do a donkey show. Sure. I, mean, I think we need to. I think we need to get the crowd inside going. We get them all. We get them. We get them. And then we then we bring Steve right up on stage and have a right. little dance. See see we we'll, see we incorporate him into the gig, man. Right. I think we should we should all we should all get together, jamming on stage, and bring Steve right on up there with us, and and, and just just make him part of the band. Yeah, I'll pet him every time we play you. Uh, like like I said, I'm kind of I'm kind of just the mule and the mascot. I don't I don't think the owners would like it very much. I don't want to make them. You sound a lot like Mordecai now. Weird. Uh, come on. <laughs> I don't want to put no pressure on you, Steve. It ain't no thing. It ain't no thing. It ain't no thing. I only I put pressure really on Jillian just because she needs to be pushed out of her comfort zone no, just a little right. bit. Let's 
Let's, let's and get... Mordecai here. Mordecai, Mordecai gets needs to be pushed out of his comfort zone. Mordecai just Mordecai standing there. He's like, "Why are these I guys?" I, I, I don't. I, you guys, will, I mean, get through it. Mordecai, I know you are down to party. Okay. I know you. I know you. You went on a crazy adventure with. I see it in your shit. eyes. I know you. Party. He is just lackadaisical right now because he's just watching. All right, all right, he's all just right. watching you, That's... fascinated by whatever you're doing. He's just fascinated because you are. This is the first donkey I he's saw. Been, he's been, he's been, he has been sitting inside through. reading lore books for like the That's last like five years, and he. Just That's has why we not bring him out. out. And he is just like mm. getting a character study of you <clears> for. All right now, so uh, can we go into this? Let's go into this fine establishment here. Well, see if go. we can arrange arrange for some drinks. Quick, see you later, uh, Steve. Nice meeting you. And see if they need a band for later tonight. Hey, hey, Jillian, tell your friends it was nice meeting them. They all seem pretty nice. I'll see okay, you I will, Steve. Everybody Bye. says goodbye. Doobie. Cleave, <laughs> Steve the mule. What's up, Simon? That was that, Steve. <laughs> I'm Can a better I... orc for having known him. Can I roll to punch the door? I think we're all better. Do you uh, we're you can roll to punch it. Sure. It's, I don't think it's advised, but punch go open. ahead. Punch and open that door. All right. I'm making an entrance. I get it. I get it. You should kick open the door. All these guys kick are open free. the door. All Music right. makes it punchy, guys. I mean, if you were going to do anything. All right. We'll roll to kick open the door. Don't roll it. All right. Now. Open. Oh, man. I ain't been in a bar fight in a, in a few months now. I rolled please, a two. Please don't start. You rolled a two? <laughs> I rolled a two. Okay, you went to kick the door, and you not only don't kick the door open, you just fall right back and hit, like, you fall right back to the ground. Steve comes up, and he's like, he just looks at you, and Jillian can hear him say this, but he's just like, you, you're pretty silly, I like you, and he starts licking your face. <laughs> can I just open the door? You can just open the door. I'm I'm opening the door. The door is open. Okay. <laughs> Thank you, Jillian. <laughs> Please, after me. Here I come. <laughs> I pick myself up off the ground and walk inside. So as you walk in, it's dimly lit. Um, just you know, a couple candles here and there. Uh, it's not packed. There's just a couple people here and there, um, sitting at tables, enjoying some like you know. They I think they're serving chicken. They have some chicken. Um, and they all have like ales. Um, it's pretty, it's just pretty basic. It's nothing fancy. It just is what it is. It's just a place to go and grab some food and drink. Uh, and there's a, there's a bartender tending, you know, at the bar. And, uh, there's like maybe two or three waitresses. So y'all, you guys, you guys... <clears throat> they, they, they got rooms here. Uh, this is not an inn. It's just a tavern. Oh, okay, okay, okay. It's just a bar. Uh, do they have rooms? I mean, like there. I mean, there there are rooms as in, in general, the are kitchen. There there's space. a kitchen and there's there's storage rooms, so there are rooms. Is there a room? All right, boys. Let, mean, let me let me let me tell you. Let me tell you. What. Can I just uh, we get can, a beer, we... please? Is <laughs> <laughs> a hot dog a sandwich? <laughs> anyway. I say we get a drink here right now. We chill. Maybe, maybe we'll see if they want some music and we, we get a feel for how each other plays a yeah, bit because well, I think we got well, it all jammed together. But yeah. I think we should look for another stat. We should bar hop a little bit, find find maybe another place where we can we can agree to like play a set for the night and then they'll give us some food, housing kind of stuff in exchange you for you all. You don't have to worry about how Wow, you are awful practical in the way that you are uh, explaining your plans for the evening. You don't so, have to worry about how. I mean, hey now, man, I've been traveling around. I usually got. I'm used to having to figure out that kind of stuff on the fly, you know. Mordecai looks. He's like, but, oh, housing. You don't have to worry about no housing. We got plenty of rooms open at the Bard College. You can all stay. Excellent. You covering drinks too here tonight, Mordecai? Oh, you oh, we'll have a few drinks here or there. Don't but mind you, if you I cover do. it. We we on your tab? Uh, you are not on my tab. You will pay for your damn oh, self. Uh, yeah. well, let me check real quick how much money but I can play I have 15 gold pieces yeah you're 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 fine for money this it's like I said it's a small it's a small tavern it's uh, not gonna cost right, you all right, all right, all right. I buy Mordecai a round I buy myself I buy I buy one round of drinks for all of us including 
Mordecai, and I buy Mordecai a double because he needs to loosen the fuck up. Yeah, like Mordecai. Yeah. Mordecai is like asking you to save the world, but he's not like just about to pay for everything. This that man son of a bitch. Work for what he I, has. I mean, um, I say Mordecai gold don't mean fucking shit in this world, and I'm gonna buy. I'm gonna get your ass drunk tonight. All right. So I buy Mordecai a double, and I buy a round for everyone else. Hey here. Oh, hey here. Like Mordecai guy. gladly drinks the drink. Um, do you order any food? We'll give, I'm not hungry right now. Neither yeah. am I. So, so um, I'll take a pork. Yeah, the, the, it's, uh, it's you spend you spend maybe like like a half hour like on your first round. You're you're talking. You overhear some conversations. How much were those drinks though? Uh, oh, now you're asking you're about the there's questions. five there's five people. Uh, I just I don't know what money is. So like like a gold, like it's like half not like even 50 a gold. Like I would say like silver, maybe like silver. five silver. All right, all right. How five many silver, silver to a gold? Uh, oh, it's like a hundred <laughs> silver to a gold. I used no, to it's ten. It. Ten. It a ten? Oh, but I don't ten silver to a gold. Are. Yeah. It's a hundred copper to a gold then. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, I mean so five silver. silver. Should... Yeah, it should cover you, I guess. Five silver in a place like this, man. All right, all right. this city's expensive. I mean, yeah, I mean, you are, you out. are, you are getting to where like rush hours happening, where it's like it's getting later in the night. And uh, but they, they ain't got. I asked the bartender. I go up to. Is there a bartender? There's a bartender. Who's the bartender look like? Uh, he's just a simple like. Uh, I would say he's a simple man in his like. He's that idiot over there with the beer. Uh, he's got a he's got a goatee. Um, he's got like short black hair. Um, he's medium build. Uh, he doesn't look like he's like any kind of a threat, but he also like looks like that he's just like a normal average Joe schmo. His name is actually Excuse Joe me. schmo. That's cool. funny enough. Yeah. Joe, Joe, hey there, hey there, hey there. Hey there. I'm wondering, I'm wondering, you ever, you ever get any bands playing in this establishment here? Uh, Joe's just like wiping out a glass. He's just like, no, nah, we don't really get any bands around here. It's not, we're not much for music in the inner, in, more in the inner city, like in the inner city. Uh, well, here, inner city's actually nice. Uh, in the inner city here, you get more bands uh, closer to the bard colleges that are there and the, the higher fancy folk like the music. Around here, people just want some food and drink and they just want to get away from their their you know hard and tough life working the land so music i mean right. uh, here and there we'll get a traveling bard come through and tell some tales but we don't really hire anything we don't really pay for anything people just kind of perform as they like got it got it now. all right now all right so uh well at least we got to talk to a motherfucking donkey hold on anyway. hold on ask the we can talk to some of the local folk though man they don't. They don't do like some like bluegrass business or something down here. Uh, I mean, like we get like a traveling like folk singer once in a while comes in with like you know. A, I could dig a that. I could and, dig that. And he plays some tales about you know Marvel. Talks about you know the void of the seer. You know, they sing some tales here and there, but not nothing too crazy. Just common local folklore. All right. All right. All right. Well, Let's, ask, let's uh ask him what the easiest way to verdant is. The easiest way to verdant? Oh yeah, he speaks my language. <laughs> Wait, are, do you not speak common? Do you not speak common? Do you not speak common? I thought we were still talking to donkey. No, oh, no, no, no. We're, you're talking to the bartender, Joe Schmo. <laughs> do you, Joe, Joe, Joe Schmo? Joe, Joe Schmo is speaking common, him? right? Do you, yeah. Do you want to ask him how to, the right. best way to get to verdant is? If you. In your personal opinion, I know you know the back road right now. Uh, I mean, you just take the main road right out of the town, and uh, you follow it south uh, southwest, and eventually you hit a lake, and you know along that lake is uh, the town of Verdant. There's a quaint little church there. You know, they sing a lot of hymns. You know, a lot of Isn't a lot of religious folk out that way. Southwest seems like the wrong way. I'm no, sorry, southeast. Okay. I don't know. Joe Schmo looks and he's like, man, directions are hard, you know. Like, you know, I just, I know what uh, you directions mean, are hard. Uh, south, it happens, Joe. South, you go, you go to the lake. Right go to, up go down. To the lake. It's all the same thing, man. 
Yeah, just follow right. the road to the lake, and then you follow the lake road. Anything we, anything we gotta worry about? Have you made this journey before, Joe? Oh, I haven't been to Verdant in quite about? some time. You know, we just it's really busy around here. Just you know, making sure that uh, we keep people happy and uh, filled with food and drink. You know, like especially when everything's that's right, that's going right. around right now, and you know, the town of Harmony's hearing ghost stories, and people kind of spook oh, to go God. anywhere near that area. Ghost stories. Do you know why that town's called Harmony? Oh, why is it called Harmony? Yeah, they say yeah, the yeah. wind when it used to blow used to blow with sweet melody. I like some sweet wind melody, man. I know I like you some do, Trey. Melody myself. I, I know. Man. I wish to hear the harmonies of the wind. We gotta go fix that place up, man. All right. I sure do. We have to. All right, all right, all right. But like, okay, is there anyone else in this? Uh, in this bar here that looks that looks interesting um they're just just regular folk just you know people who look like they've definitely been working all day uh as the sun's like now starting to kind of like set um until oh, no, right. they've, they've left the field like these for guys the are uncomfortable with the fact that i'm a half orc i'm not gonna lo- say anything but if the guy any looks, of you are my actual friends the, the guy looks like joe Schmo looks at you and he's like i mean we don't see many of you around here, but like, you know, nobody's gonna have any quarrels with you as long as you don't start shit. Don't start no shit, won't be no shit, that's right. That's 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 what we say here in Sellers. Don't oh, start no shit. Ain't gonna be no shit. People looking at me weird at all. We've been oh, seeing it in the okay. I don't know. Write that in my these, notebook. these seem like pretty tolerant tolerant folk here. These folks, pretty these folks folk here. I mean, I'm just, in here with. They really only care about work in the land and just like. Um, they just really care guys, about like guys, I'm okay. making a living. I'm and not I... going to rape and pillage. All right, all right. Let's uh, finish out. Maybe Joe, if we Joe, got anything, Joe, we have Joe any other business you, here. Joe looks at you and he's like, "They say if you rape and pillage, we're gonna have to kill you." So you uh, don't, don't do that. I can throw a lot of darts at a lot of people. It's pretty easy for me to kill. Yeah, see, we, we don't take too kindly to rapists away. around here. You so, don't take uh, too kindly. I, I was just saying a matter of fact. <laughs> well, right. kinda, I go over to the fact, fact to the other side of the It should be understood that you don't rape people around here. Do you want Clay? me to kill your donkey? Clay? Is that yes. a threat? I no. think. I, the Clay. promise. Hold, hold on for a minute, Joe. Clay, I think hold we need me to back. just... We just need to take a step back here for just okay. a minute. We're not like killing anybody yet. Oh, I'll down now. Okay, we don't have to kill anybody yet. I'm just saying, music makes me punchy. And I'm surrounded by bards, everyone. But, I okay. cast... Hold on. I cast Mage Hand and actually, like, give the orc a wedgie. <laughs> <laughs> Wait. Mm, okay, yeah, that sounds good. Joe gets a good laugh out of this, and uh, he, he hands you a drink for free. Not cool. Next time I won't be wearing pants or underwear, and that's because of you. I'm loincloth in it now. Now, now that you've been wedged right. by Mage Hand, Joe does not see you as a threat whatsoever. <laughs> that's cool. He doesn't need to see me as a threat. I'm still a threat. But you are you are right now in his eyes a very non threat. Alright, I need to kill Joe now. <laughs> no, no, we don't we, we don't need to kill Joe. We don't I need have to kill Joe. See me as a threat. Really, no, 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 no. No. Guys, Hold on. Leave me as a <laughs> I, I, don't make me cast sleep. Alright. I, I turn to Joe and I say, Can I get four beers? Yeah. Joe. Joe, Joe serves you four beers. All right, I immediately turn around and hand them to the orc. Thank you. I was drink. expecting you to just drink every single one of them right in front of us done. right now. I need a hundred beers. Done and <laughs> exactly a <done>. hundred. <laughs> no. no, okay. Okay, okay. I'm sorry, oh, no, humans. I'm sorry. Maybe, maybe we should go to a I maybe we should go to a bar where we can get our funk on. Boys. My whole thing uh, was and girl, don't and start girl, girl. There won't be no shit. Quality. <laughs> I I am down to go play some funk and maybe beat some people. All right now. I say right, we head right. back towards the inner sanctum. 
Yeah, not all the way, not all the way, not all the way. Yeah. Somewhere in the middle. So, so time, time is, time is, uh, time is some time I also press the digitation and clean ourselves up like a little. Now we're not like three weeks without a shower. We're at like you shower regularly, but don't use deodorant. Okay. Okay. I guess real. All right. Clean So it's about that. It's about that natural scent, boys. So right now it's about like uh, your hormones and shit. It's about like seven o'clock right now. Um, I say that the uh, it's starting to get somewhat dark out. Um, like the sun's definitely setting, but it's not fully set. It's time to get funky, boys. Sunlight. Uh, so you want to make your way to the inner sanctum. Like how drunk am I? Uh, how many beers have you had? I mean, I had the first drink, um, Willie got me one, and then I got a free one. So you've had three? Yes, sir. Um, yeah, yeah, I think, yeah, yeah. You, you're not that, you're good. not that. Yeah, I'm, I'm like, you're, okay. you're like, you're like tipsy, you're like feeling loose. All right, all right, all right. You're all, all right, loosey-goosey. All right. Are we, do we want to take a break? It seems like people need to do nature uh, things. If no, you would like no, to take. it's happening. Ignore the man on the other screen. Weird, weird that um. If you would like to take, I know Nathan just went off to pee in an alley. I don't get it. <laughs> well, I mean, I need to say it. when would nature you, calls. Would man, you like to take call. a quick, a quick like? I don't. Ten, ten minute break. These bathroom got some. I don't need to, whatever. but it's we're probably like halfway through something. So if we were gonna do it in the yeah, middle, yeah, I would say. Right, and Willie has to go. Let's take a quick like ten minute break. Get some water. We'll be right back. All right. All right. So, do, 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 do. Quick, right. quick break! I'll um, mic. Quick, if what music are we gonna play in the middle? Uh, whatever is currently playing, I'm gonna turn it off. You could ask Alexa to play whatever else. Oh, that's so sad, Alexa. <laughs> Alexa, add a ten minute break to my shopping list. Are we on the internet? We are currently on the internet, yes. Oh, man. That's cool. The Twitch chat can, can hear you. What's up, Twitch? We have a couple people in here that are pretty cool. We do. Uh, oh, man. Clearly. Gravity, gravity let me down. What's up there? Uh, see you in the chat. Critical role is going down. We got I this. <laughs> bold words that I don't fully agree with. <laughs> Um, no, I actually, I actually have watched all of Quit a Critical Role. <laughs> like... yeah. uh, I see final. I saw final moose earlier. What's up, man? Uh, I thought Glade was there at the beginning of the stream. He said hi. Uh, I hope you guys are enjoying what we're doing right now. But uh, real quick, I'm gonna go grab some water because being a DM makes you awfully thirsty. Guys, I stocked up with two bottles of water, so I'm ready to go. I also have club soda, lime juice, tequila, and a glass to mix it all together in. Nice. DP is better when you get a little buzz. Monday yeah, I mean it's it's, it's it's a weekday, so I'm not trying to do too much. But like, I'm drinking plenty of water along with it because I'm talking a lot, and I also got some shit going on. But that's right, baby. <laughs> I need to get better at staying in the same voice. I'm really bad at it. It's hard. Oh wait, it's hard. There you go. <laughs> Music makes me punchy. Human bones are crunchy. We I should start a bar I... fight. To be quite honest, I was I was actually hoping that that wedgie would like make you think it was someone behind you and you would just punch him. I wasn't really hoping to defuse the situation with the wedgie. I was actually trying to escalate it. <laughs> what do I have? I've got darts. I'm gonna go in hot and just throw a dart at someone. No, 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 no. Bar, bar fight is all fists, man. You gotta, you gotta stick to the fists. And you're a monk. You should be good with the fists. You don't yeah, need the darts. Yeah, get an arm strike. Every one hit is two hits for me. You can't bring weapons to a bar fight, man. That's just wrong. Okay. Let's say we're playing a game of darts. <laughs> yeah, no. I roll a one. <laughs> I think if we're playing a game of darts, like you should get all your proficiency and everything with like playing, like winning the game. That would yeah, be cool. I've got ridiculous stats. 
We should, we should, all right, we need to play some music in a place because it'll be fun. And two, we need to, we need to, we need to play some darts in a bar. We need to find a bar with darts. Yeah. So that you Absolutely. can use your dart skills. I have, um, one dart, I guess. Well, like, if there's a game of darts, you don't have to use your darts, but you can use... Are you proficient with darts, I'm guessing? Um, I mean, I've got 19 strength and 15 dexterity, plus 6 in athletics. You probably are, man. I don't yeah, know. Yeah, it might be. <laughs> I think they might be a common... They might just be, like, a standard weapon that you would be proficient in. Are, are, yeah. we, ta are we talking, like, darts you throw at a dartboard or, like, yard darts? We're, we're wondering if his... Like darts for like the weapon dart will like trans like any skill with that will transfer to the game of darts. I don't think they're like yard darts though. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah. Um, I mean, how bad would it suck to get a dart thrown in your eye or face? Like a lot. Like a lot. Yeah, it would really suck. Imagine hitting the throat. Yeah. There's a bar near me that has a dart thing and like that bar gets packed later and like someone's gonna die one day because like to walk to the bathroom you have to go in the line of the dart the dartboard and like i have like stayed there and just like wait i'm like just like like just for the suspense like Years just the plank have trained me to dodge projectiles <laughs> I'm glad all we didn't do that donkey, guys. All I have to say is this, Mike. Yeah. If we didn't do the donkey. Actually, Pearson. <laughs> okay. I don't care who it is you decide to punch tonight. Just let me know, because I also want to punch them. Okay. I like to so punch things. Are you all the same type of bard, or are you guys going for different? Very different. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, I think we're all gonna be pretty different bards. Good. I don't know, though. Can you boost me? What kind of buffs can I get? Okay. We should just oh. figure that out. We should just figure that out on the fly. It'll be more fun. Right. Yeah. I have heroism. That's right. My character has some bad habits, too. Hmm. Oh, ism. Never mind. Har 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 har. I think I have a hunchy will be friend. I got a uh soundboard <gasps> also. I mean technically we can give him Bardic inspiration. Yeah. Oh yeah, we can. Yeah, we can. We can have. We have so much bardic inspiration. Like, yeah. Oh my yeah. God. Oh we're yeah. We're all so inspiring. Yeah, we're all very inspiring bards. I mean, not for nothing. That would. Oh yeah, this is good. D and D soundboard. Te Technically speaking, we could get him to roll a thirty-eight <laughs> out of twenty. Technically speaking. <laughs> Wait, no, I don't think Bardic Inspiration stacks, does it? Well, it depends. We gotta ask, we gotta ask the doctor. Bardic Inspiration does not stack. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, you can't stack. That would be mad broken. Yeah, it would. Oh, that's way too... Alright. You imagine... We <laughs> just high roll, like, insane things. Yeah. Okay. Sorry, guys. Alright. I can- I can do some things, though. Or a thing. Alright. So... Cool. Slash Muffin, you used your, uh, Speak With Animals, right? Yeah. Alright, so that was your level one spell? Hmm. Yes. Okay. Just making sure. Um... Okay. How many spells can you cast? Uh, at level one. You should all have two two spell slots, so you can yeah. cast like t 
two level one spells. You can cast as many. You can cast a cantrip as many times as you want. I mean, times as you want, though. What's yeah. a cantrip? It's like a spell, but but it's like a level zero spell. Okay. Yeah. I have dancing lights as a cantrip. Cool. Dude, we should use that in our stage. For, we should have a show. Yeah, that's why that I got of, dancing oh. lights, dude. Nice, nice. That's why. Excellent. We're gonna we're gonna have a light show. People are gonna be tripping balls. It's gonna be great. That's when I attack. The great right. part is because I'm using my <laughs> instrument as a focus. It's already in tune with the music. Mm -hmm. Cool. So you guys synchronize uh, we're, everything. We're all, we're all back from break. Yeah, we're, we're all, all back. Yes. Yes. Trying yes. to go to we're a bar. Yeah, awesome. man. I got. I, I didn't even move. I got tequila, two bottles of water. I ate some pizza before. I got a catheter hooked up. I'm set. Jesus. All right. Yeah. A catheter, really? Why not just diapers? Just because you gotta just go hard, man. I don't know. All right. I always go hard. Because I'm oh. actually on the toilet right now. No, um. Ooh, yo, that. Right I just insane. did the catheter because it felt interesting. Oh, uh, okay. <sighs> anyway. All right. So you guys have have gone to the inner sanctum. And you're looking for uh, for a nice a nice like a uh, tavern, or are you looking yeah you're looking for like a tavern Look, with a music. Space? I'm just trying to find yeah, some funky shit right now. All right, so you kind of find the opposite. Give me some jazzy, syncopated, funky motherfucking shit. Uh, Mordecai looks at you and he's like, "Boy, I don't I don't know what to tell you, but uh, actually, what his is? I forget his instrument. Let me see what his instrument is." Uh, like, boy, the funkiest I can give you is a little play on the trumpet. Little, sounds little, good, little, man. Little doot doot. I don't know how to do trumpet sound uh, out of character. But, uh... <laughs> so oh, I can help you with that. I can give you some, uh... Yeah, I can give you, I can give you some of that. But uh, that's about it. It's not, not, not necessarily funky. No, 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 more no, like no. majestic. Looking, looking for a place in town where some musicians get together. Maybe they improvise a little bit. Maybe they 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 put a little more emphasis on the upbeat. Sometimes sounds, they do some. Sounds like you're looking. Uh, you're looking to go to the uh, the fancy staff row. Fancy staff row. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sounds well, pretty fancy. It's the staff row. I think it's fancy. Staff row. All right. Staff all right. Row. What kind? What kind of? What kind of people hang out in that fancy staff row? Well, it's mostly tell, me, people, tell me about the crowd. It's most of the people who were doing a lot of shopkeepers, a lot of, a lot of people make their living in, uh, you know, working with jewelry and, uh, you know, selling things. And you got some of the bards that are there too. And you got some of the, the upper class, upper class like to hang around there and take in some of the music. All right, what's like a good like working man? We got a. Working man that likes likes to get down. I mean, I was trying to go for the working man. That's why I thought the stanky mule would be all stanky. They'd be putting some stank on it with the music they play. Too much working man, man there. They are like, I mean, they just all work and no play, man. I'm trying to have Damn, where the working man goes to play. Where the working that. man goes to play. Oh, sounds like yeah. you're talking about a casino. I don't, yeah, I'm not talking about talking. playing. I don't want to play with money. I, I want to play with sound. I want to play with minds. I can tell you, I you know that boy, that uh, that music don't need no stage to be played. You got music with you anywhere you go, if you think about it. I mean, that's true, man. I, I got shit going that's in my true. head all You're the fucking time. Wow, that's to, so uh, deep. To inside the box, there, boy. You I'm just, I'm, I'm trying to, I'm trying to find some shit I ain't before, though. You oh, know? Well, I what's don't like, know what what's the local before? scene? What's the? I'm, I'm trying to find. What's some like? I want the local Celis music scene, the shit that only exists in Celis. We got, man. You looking for 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 a specifically music venue then? Music, drinks, people, man. I don't know. Well, the staff role, they do play music there, and they do serve drink there. All right, fuck it. Let's go to the staff role. Fuck it. Fuck it. Fuck it. <laughs> I am in. So you go. You go. Um. You're kind of close to the area where the um, the Bard's College is, um, and there's this like really nice building. Um, it's two stories, so there's a second floor and a first floor. Um, very nice, like you know the doors are like really nice. Like you can tell that this place is like built. 
It's not like the wooden shack that was the stanky mule. This is an actual, like, establishment where, you know, there are people outside, you know, dressed nicely. Uh, you know, you walk in, um, there's, there's like a, there's like a <laughs> counter where, like, the person's, like, you know, waiting, like, like, showing people to seats. You know, it's not like the stanky mule where you kind of just walk in and just sat down. <laughs> um, this I've place is kind of like, here. this is... There are no donkeys here. Is there, is there, a, ba is there a band playing? Uh, there currently is a band on the stage. What um, do they sound like? They're, they're, they're pretty contemporary. And by that I mean like it's like, you know, there's a, there's a drummer, there's a, a lute player. Um, they have somebody playing the flute. And they're playing, you know, some, some just like... How's uh, the flute player? How's the flute, how's the flute player though? Like, the how flute good player is not like show-off-y. It's very simplistic. Okay. Well, I mean, I can respect that. You know, you gotta yeah, they're, 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 they're playing and fill in your role. I get that. They're playing like they're playing like real down to earth, like smooth they stuff. You know. As soon as they yeah, enter, as soon as you enter, you start music doing. Music makes them punchy. How, are the people are the people in here like dancing and shit or what? Music um, makes me punchy. People are people aren't really dancing. They're just enjoying the music while they're like eating and drinking. Is it's this definitely... the sort of venue where the? Is this the sort of venue where people dance? Like if uh, someone would, plays something good, there there is there is like a dance floor that is that right people now. could if they wanted to. Guys, I think, need, I think we need, I think we need to get these people up and out of their chairs. What do you all think? I think we need to play. I've so, got a dart in my pocket that will. Let's go talk to the owners of this fine establishment. We'll get a drink and see if they can they can get us on tonight. Guys, we've never the, played yeah. before. Why why are we Ooh, going to why. perform like together for the first time live at a venue? Hey man, that, hey that's man, it's all about done. it's all about the jam, man. It's all about it's all about that spontaneity. It's all yeah, about I mean, seeing come what on, comes so out. We gotta listen to him. We know what he's doing. So you walk in, and um, the person who's like. Uh, like kind of like taking people and like showing them their their like seats looks at you and they're just like uh so uh, i guess a uh, party of five oh we trying to party time. we are we are so trying to party Wait, Mordecai is included yeah party of five i'm sorry about my friend he ain't the best i always count myself as two yeah. sorry so <laughs> so but guys, uh but we are we uh, are most definitely trying to party we are most definitely trying to party, and we're trying to party with a lot more than five. We're trying to party with this whole motherfucking place. You gotta, we'll we'll, we'll get a table for now. I, we'll get a table. Yeah. We'll get some food. Get but, some drinks. Uh, but I think we will. I think we want to. We want to get a place on stage here and uh, see if we can be added to the bill tonight. You know, we just try. The host looks at you and it's like, uh, if you would like to play, I mean, you you, uh, you have to sign up. And uh, currently, you know, this is the band for this evening. Uh, but if you'd like to talk to the owners, we can probably maybe get you in for, uh, you know, maybe a, uh, uh, what do you call it? Uh, ever, like a, a God damn, what's the word? Rehearsal? Not a rehearsal. But like audition? an audition. Night that's, night. It. that's it, audition. If you want, audition. you know, the owners, the owners could probably oh, maybe can we just get you a in table for an audition. Now? All right, let's get a table. Let's get a table for now. Let's get a table. Uh, so they, they show, uh, he walks you over and he. It actually places you pretty close to the to where like the dance stage would be, like the dancing floor. Nice, nice. Uh, and you're at a, a nice circular table with uh, five chairs. You sit down, uh, and he he pretty much looks at you and he's just like, um, he starts rattling off what the specials are. They have you know wine. They have burp. They have like all kinds of hard. I, I listen intently to the specials. Yeah, they have like all kinds of like mi like mixed drinks. <laughs> Yeah, um, this town's gonna be a ghost town. They have like fancy drinks. Um, oh, the they have um, like the food is like well prepared. It's not just like a like like the stinky mule was like here's a chicken. This place is like uh, here's a nice cutlet of chicken, but there's also like really fine vegetables and really fine. Like, chicken. I have the chicken. I, like, I ordered a fine autumnal mead. A fine autumnal mead. Okay. <laughs> Do you uh? I would like some Vindumont. Oh, what, what, what are your vegan options? <laughs> he looks I'm at you, stares guy. you dead in the face, and goes, uh, "What? What is? What is vegan?" I mean, I don't want no animals in my food. Or like oh, a vegan doesn't want no animals oh, in their oh, food. You, you want to? You eat, consider a dolphin animal? You want to eat? You want to eat just just green? Well, I mean, we, 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 veggies we, should be all sorts of colors. 
We have we have a, you know we have some nice vegetables. Uh, we have soup. All right, I want none of that. Give me everything. You want no meat, no vegetables? No, 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 no. I want only the meat. Are you okay. Want, okay. Okay. Hold on. Okay, we can do that. Uh, you know, he looks like they got I steaks. Don't, I, don't, I don't. I don't eat vegetables. They have like nice cuts of like deer. Is that what have... vegan Ooh, is? Venison. I'll take. I'll take some venison. I'll do. I'll do a big little slab of that. I think I'm so, getting this. I... <laughs> only food that starts with a V. That's a veal. So you want veal? <laughs> veal venison. 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 Hey, you, yes. The waiter got your order. Ven the waiter venison is dear. Right. The waiter is okay. waiting on 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 the the orc. I will also take some venison. Very well, sir. I'll write that down for you. Make it raw, please. That's how I eat it. Okay, that's uh. Extra rare. That's up to you. We are not held reliable. Uh, if you get sick, though. Uh, I have... Up? Hold on, let me look at my stats real quick. I have, uh, 16 constitutions, so I don't think I'll be getting sick. He still makes you sign a waiver. <clears throat> I don't even know how to spell my name, so... Just, just scribble here, please. No, I'll dip my hand in this pot of <laughs> ink and place my hand on your paper. Alright, that's please a binding agreement. get me some medicine. Right. Thank you. Then we'll bring it out to you raw. Um, Many thanks, okay. sir. And then looks I'm to, trying to, to be to nice. To you that venison tartare. And for you, Tell me how that venison tartare is. One of your rarest venisons, please. What whiskeys do you have? Oh, we have a uh, we have rye. We have a uh, a nice a nice mash. We have, we have a, a twenty year uh, single barrel. How much for the rye? Oh, the rye, the rye will be uh, about uh, about ten, uh, about uh, seven silver. For the bottle. Oh, for the bottle. Oh, uh, that'll be two gold. I pull two gold from my pocket and slap it on the table. All right. Uh, he hands you, like he, he goes and gets all your stuff. Get your drinks first. Brings the bottle for you. Yeah. Brings the autumnal mead for uh, Jillian. Uh, Excuse me, there, waiter. Waiter. Uh, yes, sir. Uh, does does uh, this band have an intermission? Uh, you you actually missed the first intermission. There might be another intermission later, but uh, they're scheduled to yeah. perform until close tonight. So they'll probably get a better half hour break later. All right, all right, all right. They're only about how about how long sure. before that half hour break? Uh, that, I mean that really depends on when they decide they want to take the half hour break. All right, all right. All right. Um, but, doctor, uh, you'll tell me. You'll tell me. You'll tell me when they take their break. Tell me. Tell me when they get off stage. All right. I will say <laughs> right now, like between getting the drinks, walking here, uh, and everything else, it's probably about like I'd say it's like around like eight o'clock now, and this place like mm -hmm. closes at like midnight. <sighs> There's some bars that are open till like probably down by the yeah, port. Is, they're open till like four or something. Of, this is less of a bar and more like a dinner restaurant kind of place. Oh my god, Mo Mordecai! I ask you to take me to some cool fucking places, and you keep <coughs> first you bring me to the fucking pig pen, and now you bring me to some fancy preppy ass bullshit. Mordecai Jesus. looks at you and he's just like, "Well, listen there, boy. You said you wanted stanky. I gave you stanky. You said it. You wanted jammy. And I wanted I stank him." Some... I gave you I some jammy. Yeah, I could see right on the table. There's a lot of good jams around here. I don't know what you're asking. I did not want that kind of jam, and I did not want that kind of the stank. Oh, really my good, God. Though. And I can also see at the entrance, the door is left open by some sort of thing. I want to call that a jam also, but with a B at the end. <laughs> this place is pretty jammy. I don't know what you're talking about. Yeah, boy, listen, you, you gotta you gotta explain yourself a little Don't better. Don't call me saying... boy, Mordecai. Well, listen here, there, boy. Do you want me to pet him? <laughs> <laughs> I take a deep breath. You and gotta let me know. Mordecai's <laughs> voice. <laughs> you gotta let me know what you want. I'm, I'm trying to show you I've guys. I've been very clear. Um, <laughs> to find some stinky, yeah. funky music. We have a very all important right. mission ahead of us. All and, right, all right. And you just right, keep right, saying right, the right, words right. Jamie and Stanky over and over and again. Funky. <laughs> and funky. And funky. 
But you ain't explaining Man. yourself, that boy. <laughs> You're just saying words that they mean nothing. Uh, stanky just... jams. Sometimes the stank is in all you right, all uh, along. The stank right. is in all of us all along. All right, all right, all right. I'm gonna I'm have my, I'm gonna have my venison. Right I'm gonna, I'm gonna have my, I'm gonna have a drink, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna wait till that band goes off on their intermission. And I'm going to chug my entire bottle of whiskey. I'm you going to that. eat my venison. <laughs> I whisper over to Nathan. Well, can I can I get a moment with Nathan? Nathan, where others can't hear us. Uh, well, you're sitting at the table, so you'd have to like be excused. Um, without looking can I, weird, I don't know. You want me to meet you? You want me to do okay. earmuffs? Here we go. No, 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 no. I'm just. Can I? All right, let's let's just try it. Try something. Um, I mean, you can you can try to sneak and like you're sitting next to him. You can try to like actually, yeah. Uh, I I I, I I say I gotta go to the bathroom. I got and... done yet? No, I say I gotta go to the bathroom. I um cast like press the digitation and create like a little arrow like in the bottom of Nathan's glass, like pointing towards me as I'm walking away, hoping right. he'll look over and make eye contact, and I wave him over towards me. So you uh, both go to the bathroom together. Weird. Yeah. Assuming assuming he like chooses to follow. Yeah, assuming he chooses I, to follow you. I do choose to follow. <coughs> All right, cool, cool. Okay. Do you want to make out in the bathroom, Nathan? No, um, <laughs> um, Nathan, nah, Nathan, Nathan. All right, we, we yeah. both want to play some fucking music. Right. I want to play the funk. All right, all right. We're gonna, we're gonna. I got a plan. I got a plan. I got a plan. What okay. we're gonna do when this band gets off stage, right? We're gonna disguise ourselves as two of them band members. We're also gonna hide two of them, and we're gonna play. We're gonna, we're gonna play it on stage and get this place fucking moving. What do you think about that? Hey, I've got just the fireworks yeah, to show up? this off. You ever see it? Let's right. do it. All right, can you uh, you got any ability to disguise yourself? I think I can. Serious question. No. Do you want to see? I an do. Object? I can disguise you do? myself. No. You can. Do you see I can. Object? All right, I can disguise myself too. Jillian. We can disguise another person. Do we? Do we want to? Do we want to drummer? I think Jillian's being a little square. I don't know if she's up Serious for it. Question. But what guy? What do you think? What do you think? Do you think? What do you think? You think little, it's just you and me, or friend. you think we should bring another with us? Maybe later. I didn't hear no, though, so I'll be back. I think it may be best to just do us for now, just to see right, what all happens. Right. All right, all right, all right. All right, so... So, so can I try to perceive, like, a little before... So, like, let, we go back to the table, I assume. And yeah. can I try to, can I try to like, you know, I know how music works. Maybe I have to roll a perception or something. Uh, it's up to you, DM. Um, can I try to perceive and get like a little bit of a hint to like know when the band is like getting close to taking a break? Like I'm a musician, I kind of have maybe a feel for it. You can you can kind of tell when like the big number is playing and when they start doing what like would generally be like the last song of a set. You know, yeah, like, yeah, like extended yeah. solos and things like that. Okay, and I don't and I don't need to like roll or anything to know that they're about to take a break. Uh, they'll, 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 they will say, like, this is our last song. Okay, okay. Um, they're, they're, all right, when that happens... giving the crowd warning about, like, they're not just gonna up abruptly stop playing. Yeah, 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 Okay, when that, it's, it's when that, natural. like, when it starts to seem like they're gonna go back, then, um, like, you know, me and, like, I'll, I'll make a signal to Nathan and, and we'll, we'll, we'll start to figure something out. But I don't know if you want to let anything else play out before then. Uh, no, I mean, like, they bring your food by, um, you know, you're eating and, uh, drinking, and, uh, definitely drinking if you're, if you're, um, Nathan. Um, <laughs> you know, they bring, they bring your venison out, they bring all your cuts and everything, uh, you eat, you finish your food, and as you're finishing your food, it's, it's getting close to, like, that time, um, and the band says, like, you know, they, there's, like, all right, right. All right this is our last song for the set. Then we're going to take a half hour break, and we'll be yeah. back with one last set for y'all fine-looking people. We'll come all back. Right. So I hope you rolled a good perception check for that clue. 
I think nah. they're almost done. I don't, I don't know. All right, all right. Yeah, so they're, they're playing their last song. So, they finish up their song. They say, you know, they're like, thank you. Uh, be sure to tip your waiters, waitresses. Take care of your favorites. Uh, if we see you next time here. And uh, those who are staying around for the show after this, we got some more jams for you. And they uh, oh, they no. take they, they, they take a lead. We- and they go get some food and drink. People clap for them. They're like, hey, good job. We liked it. All right, now. Nobody right, is Nathan. expecting any more music for the next half hour. It's just conversations and people yeah, yeah, paying yeah. their checks and things like that. Yep. Guys, that band was so rad. Nathan, Nathan, you want to go out and go out for a smoke here? I think that sounds like a good thing. All right. We go outside. Um... We look around. I'm hoping some of the band members smoke. Um, there's four band members, and I will say that at least one of them smokes. I'm rolling a, a, D, a D4. Okay. Uh, three of them smoke. <laughs> Excellent. We so could use. We could them, use. Three of them. Are, three of them are outside. Two of them would be perfect, but okay. Three. Um, three of them are outside. Um, they're all. They're smoking uh, pipes. Uh, with some some like loose tobacco, um, they're just talking about the set and they're like talking about what the next set's gonna be. Um, you know, they're talking about you know, hey, do you want to play that that one tune? I like that one. Um, hey, w- let's play this one first. I think we we opened up the last set uh, with a different song. I think we should open up this next set with a different song. All right, all right, all right, Nathan. There's two ways we can play this. We can go in and see if they want to jam with us. I mean, they're musicians. Maybe they're down. Well, we can, uh, you know, try. To, we could try to, uh, you know, incapacitate one of them, one, two of them, without the other knowing or something. Or well, and then, uh, you know, just disguise ourselves as the rest of them. Or maybe we can like deceive them so they go off to a different place, and we take their spot. What do y'all think? I would like to roll for a chance to do stand-up comedy while they're talking. <laughs> we're outside. You guys are still inside. Do you guys want to do anything while we're outside? I would like to roll to do stand-up comedy. I'd like to try one of the other specials if I could. Uh, you can order another special, yeah. Yeah, all right. Uh, like one of the one of the nice cocktails. Oh, uh, the nice cocktails. Yeah. There's like a, a really interesting recipe that uh, uses like vermouth and gin and like shaved ice with some. I don't like, really um... like vermouth. <laughs> well, what do you uh... like? <laughs> I you asked think. for specials. Oh, jeez. I mean, like you said, there were like some girly drinks. Oh, uh, you want a girly drink? Uh, there's. I mean, I mean, they have like a nice, like a uh, like a uh, apple teeny. Yo, give me, set me up with the apple teeny. Yeah, you get the apple teeny. Cool. You bring it the ever apple teeny, and it's uh, it's made with fresh apples. Ooh. Like it's, um, it's got a really before nice... it drinks, and I put my finger in it and make sure it's all stirred up. What the right. fuck? <laughs> what was that? Before he drinks it, I put my finger in it to make sure it's all stirred up. <laughs> all right. Um, Can uh, I use <laughs> bending to fix my drink? No, right? <laughs> no. <laughs> 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 so you just had an orc finger in your drink that was touching raw venison. It's super yeah. salty. Because oh. I'm assuming that the orc doesn't eat using silverware. He just eats with his hands. The lack yeah. of stink was just an illusion. I tell him he can have the drink. All right, so you, I think you I give him cleaned drink. us up a bit, though. Oh, you said All right. yeah, you said like showered, but like with, without using deodorant. But he's still an no. orc. Yeah, I'm still an orc. I'm, you know, half orc, Dude. but it's, it's the it's the venison, thing. honestly. You know, it's it's always, 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 always half orc, man. It's not a half human. I don't know about that stuff, man. Right, right. this is the halfling Dude. who's you know very fine. All right. So. Anyway. Can I do my bit? I'm just gonna stand up. I'm not even getting on the desk. You just want to stand up and do stand up comedy? Here we go. For yeah. no reason. Uh, what's gotta, an orc's favorite vegetable? You gotta, you gotta roll performance. Okay. Ooh, wait. Let me, let me give you some rolling? dancing you're, lights. You're just, you're, like just, spotlights. you're just standing up and yelling at people, right? You're not even. Like, I rolled the one. Guys, <laughs> you rolled a one. I <laughs> so, all right, Natural so, one. So you stand up and you just start shouting <laughs> random words that don't make any sense. There's no what? coherency. Orc favorite vegetable. People, 
people are staring at you, and yeah. some of the some some of the like locals who um like frequent this place start going like. Can I see One the bird. manager? Can I see the manager, One please? Baby. Please. I'd this, like to distance this orc, myself. This orc, sir. sir this I, I walk orc away from the table. Is bothering. Please us. let him get Favorite kicked out. Trail. Please let him get kicked out. Um, Please let him get kicked out. Whale? Everyone say, what are our favorite whales? So, so people are kind of like, they're getting the manager over. They're like, this man's it's making a, a problem. Whale, guys. The manager, the the manager of the establishment comes up to you and it's like, sir, Goodbye. sir, 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 I need yeah. you to calm down right now. Sit down and enjoy your meal or I'm going to have to kick you out. And you're also going to have to pay <laughs> double money for, for your food because you've bothered nice people. We don't mind Roll your kind. We don't mind your kind around here, but you have to behave yourself. Get kicked out. Get Typical. kicked out. So we should be equal in the eyes. I shouldn't have to behave. You are. Let you are. Be a you are making a scene in a nice establishment. So you have a, I, your choice. Martin Luther or King Junior. You can either Man, do something can... drastically dumb. Do what I want. Or sit down and eat your food and shut up. <laughs> I'm honestly thinking about casting sleep. <laughs> I already ate my food, guys. Get him, get him kicked out. Just kick him out, <laughs> sir. If you're done with your meal, would you like to pay and leave? I'm not paying. Where's Mordecai? Oh, you're not paying. No. Mordecai's Are sitting there me? like this, sir. I just met these people, and uh, you can do whatever you want with them. You rolled a nat one. He's not. He's not getting involved with this. That wasn't. Organic response. Organic response. Just walk out. <laughs> anyway, I'm gonna walk out. See you later. Uh, he stopped. Like the there's two security guards like at the, the Just pay for front. It. Just pay for uh, it and walk out. Because this is a nice establishment. There are like there is like no, security. Do your thing. Do your thing. Uh, they block you from leaving, and uh, the manager demands that you pay him double. What your double. bill is. You rolled a nat one. I mean, I'll roll a nat twenty next time. You willing to take that risk? Can I can I get a replacement for my drink too? Uh, <laughs> the 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 manager is kind of like notioning that you should probably pay and leave. I don't even know this guy. You were sitting at the table yeah, with him. Leave. It's kind Come of ruined me. it for everyone. Yeah, <sighs> it's kind of ruined the party for All right, everyone. Man. All right, so. Wait, wait, wait! I want to see if these guys are coming outside and can join us outside. This is true. I peek back in the window what just to see what's happening. Orc, like, what type of sex party does an orc like to go to? All right. I get it. Right. Right. Orky. All right. Got goodbye. It. We got it. <laughs> You're not nat one is now a negative. You are now <laughs> required to pay triple. So no. he takes he takes about 10 gold from you. Oh, what? Jesus Christ. Yeah. No, yep. he doesn't take gold from me. That's <laughs> yeah. a fight. I've ever heard it. Uh, he's, no. he's demanding that you give him ten gold. I'm not giving him any gold. Are you? Then he's are you calling. Not to fight then here? He's, I'm leaving. Then he's gonna, right. he's gonna call the town guard I, and have you arrested for stealing. I bust back into the door. No, 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 no! I stop him. I stop him. I stop him. I say, I say, we got to get on stage, man. Yes. This is true. We do have to get on stage. This is, this is the only way to. This is the only so, way to help our friend here. We just met that guy. I don't really give a fuck about him, but but to be honest, I think I want to get on stage, and I think we might be able to help him out a little bit if we really get everyone and the whole crowd moving. We can get this going. I so you we... you are thinking about taking the stage? No, 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 no. no. We're thinking yeah. about talking to the band. Well, right now, uh, the the what's his name? Um, Kleeborb, whatever his name is, Kleeborb. 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 League Gorb right now is, is is kind of like making a big scene inside. All right, just yep. fucking someone someone do something about yeah, like I'm not gonna me, me and whatever. he's accusing me and, the manager of racism. <laughs> he's like, <laughs> the manager's pissed because this guy is so, like offending I mean, people with his awful humor. Nathan, that was Nathan, just not Nathan, good. Nathan, Nathan, Nathan. We're gonna let yes. that guy do his thing, and me and you are gonna talk to this band, and we're either gonna convince us to let him play with him, or yes. we're gonna convince them to walk away somewhere else, and then we're gonna disguise ourselves as them and go on stage. Yes. Now I think I think Jillian's a smart girl, man. I think she'll cast sleep or some shit and get themselves all right on out of there if if before he really... casts sleep on me, <laughs> let me try to intimidate thee. All right. So. <laughs> 
I will. DM, well, who's DM? Who's doing what right now? Like, right, who's well, who gets, like? Well, right now, do we roll initiative for this horse shit? Like, no, there's no, <laughs> nothing, there's no, there's no fight yet. <laughs> yeah, okay. just order of operations here. M Mordecai has has sunken in the background and has like completely removed himself from the situation. All right, all right. He's all right, just gonna so. watch how it plays out. Um, right. And he's already thinking to himself, these guys might not be the right heroes. I might have made a mistake. <laughs> I, I walk up to There's the band. No going back more to Kai. I need two big four guys. All right. He walks up to the band first. I'm staying yeah. back a little bit, but kind of trying to listen. Just anyway, smoking. I uh, turned it. I would like to roll to intimidate them to not take my money, and then I'll remove myself from the narrative. You can roll with disadvantage because you had that. Why disadvantage? You, because you had that. Then that. Then that. You one. were trying to do the freaking stand up comedy. That was critical the, failed. That was try and do stand up comedy. You critical failed. <laughs> you critical failed. Nobody's anyway, scared of you. Drumming on my penciled up comedy drum wow. in my hands. All right, so roll for intimidation with disadvantage. Oh shit. That was a 16. Alright, what's the second what's, roll? Uh, what's... Here comes another that one. That was a 13. Alright, what's 13... your... Do you have any bonus for intimidation? Oh, yeah, like yeah, I do. That's why yeah. I said that. Hold on. Um, intimidation is plus 4, so 17. 17? Holy shit. Alright, so this 17 and 20. Human... Uh, he rolled a 7. Uh, he's he's kind of just like taken aback, but at the same time he he's like he's like listen okay you don't have to pay triple you pay regular price but just please pay and go can you just please pay and go just like get you're, just, you're making a pay. scene here and I, I don't need it. my business you're I'm affecting going. my business man Mordecai never said he was gonna pay all right how much is it <laughs> all right it's like three gold mm, a little steep. Remember, this is the nice establishment. They're not the prices of Stanky Mule. You want okay, shitty food, you go to Stanky okay. Mule. Nine, you want good gold. food, you come here. Three gold isn't nine gold. Yep. Which is fine. Here's your three gold. Now I have twelve gold. All right. Good day to you. His security okay. man open, like, like, step out of the way and have you escorted out. Cool, cool. Perfect. Wait, I can't watch what my friends do? Perfect. So we're, we're outside, right? Yeah, yes. you guys are outside because you were smoking. Alright, yep, so here's cool. what they hear. Hey, Jillian, hey okay, Jillian's fine, like fine. Jillian kinda just like think I don't know, came you came along with him or are you still sitting at the table? I mean like they you you were saying before that um They were kinda that, like embarrassed by the whole table. Yeah, I know. But Mordecai got away. Yeah. Mordecai also is a respected member away. of the community. Yeah, but Jillian's can follow Mordecai. I mean never mind, I'm out of this. That's all right. So Jillian's still inside doing whatever it is Jillian does. That's, we got the three that's, of us now. We have the three of us outside. So yeah, I walk guys, up to the uh, bandmates. I go outside because they're not replacing my drink. Sons we'll of do bitches. It. Bring your drink. All right now. The bloody one with the with the deer blood in it. No, the one with right. my fingers in it. That, yeah, that's the one. right. Yeah. That one. That's the Same one. Drink. Same drink. That's the one you, that 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 Jillian gave to you. Delicious. All right. Thank you. So, I walk up to the Little band members team. standing outside, awesome. and I say to them, "Gentlemen, I believe you've been playing well this evening, but I think we need to turn it up to 11. They they look at you and they're just like, uh, "Can we can we help you?" Like I turn, I I, I look at them and I say, "I am Nathan Explosion." And I am ready to rock this place to the ground. They, so they look at you and they're like, "Oh, that, that's nice. It's nice to meet you, Nathan." Um, I mean, we'll we'll be up there in probably about like another twenty minutes from now. We'll we'll be playing some more if you wanna if you wanna you know hang out and dance a little. Maybe we'll play some dance numbers for you. They see you as nothing but just like a fan. He can't make like a some kind. Of, can you make some kind of like try to persuade him or something? Uh, I try to intimidate them separately from the previous thing. It's that a happened. different group of people. It's a different yeah, group of yeah, people. You're, you're not. You're not like talking to them. Uh, the 
God, Cle I'm sorry. Cleo I'm not. E I'm not even there. I'm not even there. I should shut the fuck up. No. Out. It's just Nathan's talking to them and trying to like. If Nathan wants right, to roll no, for persuasion, right. he has to roll for persuasion. But he's gonna have to persuade them to, like, you have to persuade them to join, like that. That to, to yep. put you in the band. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to roll for persuasion. I have a plus five. Internet and, dice roll. Yes, I roll a sixteen. Is that without the plus five or before? Without, without the plus five. Right, so that's 21, Twenty-one for persuasion, and you're Woo! trying to persuade them. Like, what are you, what are you telling them? For all of us, just I'm, you. What are you doing? I'm trying to persuade. let them take, let us take over their set. No, I'm trying to persuade to let us join them right now. All right, all right, all right. So let me roll against that persuasion. All right, they rolled an eight. Uh, he's like, I mean, I mean, you know, we could take on another, another, another band player. I mean, what, what do you play? What do you play? Tell us what you play. I play the ukulele and I sing. Oh, okay. Play the ukulele and sing. Um, I mean, I mean, we're not going to just bring you on without, you know, without hearing you play first. So why don't you play us something? You know, get, let us know what you got. Uh, roll performance. Okay. While he's performing... I come up and try to jam with whatever he's playing on my big old contrabass flute. I try to get down with that I, with that deep on say, the low end with it. I will say that these guys are only prepared for having one person play for them. They didn't like expect a second person that was not persuaded for. And you two have never played together before, so you would both be taking a disadvantage. I'm down. Let's do it. But like, I would also aren't like I? To play drums. You would, you have no rhythm together yet. You have not played together. You don't know the tendencies oh, of each other. On. Precisely. You were, you were literally. All right, all right. I'll roll for it. I'll roll for it. Trying to do it. So roll performance, both with disadvantage. Okay. I rolled a 19. That was the <clears throat> first roll or second roll? First roll. Okay, so roll again. And I roll again. 15. And, Woo! Uh, what's your bonus? Plus five on both. Mm, mm. Wait, did you already add the plus five or no? No, no, that's without so modified bonus. twenty. John, what do you got? With <laughs> disadvantage and my bonus, I have a nine. Uh, right. What what, what uh, was the disadvantage? You roll twice and take the lower one. Yeah. Oh, okay. My first roll was an eighteen. Well, so you got a nine. Uh, uh, what's his name? Yeah. Um, Hayes, 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 Yes, you got, you got a nine, and uh, in clamor, uh, Nathan got a, a twenty modified. So yes, sir. So you you were playing, you're playing really nice, like you're jamming on the ukulele. They're like listening, and then as soon as <laughs> Hayes comes up and starts playing, they look at him and go like, "Who the fuck are you? Yo, get a, no, no, this is the talent right here, and he, they, even they're including you in the talent." We're the talent. Oh, hell Get yeah. away from here. You suck. God. Oh, they man. they knock you away. Everybody's a motherfucking critic, you know? They they do not. They are, not they are absolutely not <laughs> impressed with your performance, but they enjoyed <laughs> they enjoyed Nathan's. All right, hmm. all right, all right. How Is could they not think I was funny? I'm a fucking comedic genius. So I look at who's 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 on the low end in this band. Who's who's doing like the bassy kind of stuff, like, you know, all that kind of business. Well, they had a drummer, they had a lute player, they had a flute player, um, and I think there was only three, a, so that's like the whole band. They, don't have, they have no one on bass, man. Yeah, they really, they were missing uh, a bass component. They need a bassist. But they, oh, God, they, they, they were, but they don't like me, they don't like me, they don't like me. They were playing me, a lot of like. smooth stuff, so it wasn't stuff that like required they a lot of bass. still need a bassist, but okay, okay, okay. All right, all right, all right, all right. Is there a band leader? Can I t figure out like who's kind of in charge? Um, you can kind of tell that uh, if you want to roll um, perception. Okay. Perception or okay, yeah, perception. Yeah, perception. Fine. What's okay? Wouldn't be insight. All right, but perception. Let's do no, perception. Ins yeah, What's I, I my think perception? perception's better because you're looking at like just like the way. Yeah, 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 that's fine. That's fine. They're actually the same roll for me, so fuck it. Twenty. Like I rolled Whoa. a nineteen. 
Okay, I rolled a so 19, but then I got plus one. Yeah, yeah. You can tell that the uh, the loot player is definitely the lead of this band. All right, all right. So I I walk away for the moment, just like out of sight of these guys, like just around the corner or something. Like act like I'm all embarrassed and whatever. Um. And okay. while I'm around the corner, I cast Disguise Self. Um, or actually, better... Mm, let's say... Hold on a second. Give me... Give me so if anyone wants to do anything, give me a second while I'm around the corner doing my thing. If anyone okay. wants to do anything else. Music makes me Crunchy. Human bones are crunchy. I think I have a hunchy. We'll be friends. Is Mordecai still with us? Uh, Mordecai, like Mordecai, eventually makes his way out. Like uh, after all the commotions kind of died down, um, he's he's paid his bill, like his portion of it. Um, Pay your bill. How late is it? It is, band's like, a, like they were about to go back on, uh, so it's getting close to, like, uh, I'd say it's, like, 9, I think it's, like, 9.50. There's about 10 minutes before the intermission's about over. 10. 10 minutes. How long would it take me to use my disguise kit to make me look like someone else? Uh, it's one action, so it's not that long. Okay, like, six seconds. Yeah, I go around the corner, and I use my disguise kit, um, and I try to disguise myself as... Um, kind of just a gen like generic looking human guy, probably plays in a lot of bands, whatever, but not not the guy they just saw make an ass out of himself before. Um, do you want me to roll for how good my disguise is? Uh, I'm reading the disguise thing now. Yeah, yeah. Not disguise self, the spell, but the disguise kit that I have proficiency Oh, the disguise in. kit? Okay. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, you would roll that for that. Okay, what should I roll? Uh, I'd say roll d20. Oh, okay. And, um... Is there a skill with that? I'm trying to think. I mean, he's proficient. Performance? Um, I don't think it's performance, is it? I mean, a lot of people will say... I've heard people say, like, dex or whatever for it. Just, yeah, like, how... Yeah, I'll, I'll just go with dex. Just go with dex. Okay, okay, okay. I'll go with that. Uh, I just got a 12. So All it's right. uh, um, you, how'd I do? What were you trying to disguise I wasn't, yourself as? I was just trying. I was just trying to be a person that wasn't me. It wasn't anything particularly like extravagant or a specific person, but just uh, not recognizable you, as myself. You kind of changed your clothes and like you did like some makeup and stuff, but like it's still like you can still kind of tell it's you. Okay. It's not super yeah. great. Like it would fool maybe a really dumb person. Or do I know? Do I? And I know this. Uh, I mean, I, you, you, I can look you in a can, mirror or like a window and kind of get my. Yeah, like you, you have. Okay, a, okay. You should probably have a mirror with that disguise kit or something. Yeah, it's probably in there. All right, all right. Uh, being unhappy with it, I just say fuck it and cast disguise self. Okay. Um, and then and then um, try to do you know like a similar thing and and like do it right this time, but now I've used a spell slot. Okay. So, uh, what, what did you do to yourself with, uh, this guy's self? Did you make yourself taller, shorter, bigger, smaller? Um, I made myself look similar to the, um, the flute player that was the leader of the band, but, but not, um, <laughs> like, like a, like similar in stature and things, but like, you know, a different enough, like, you know, like that he's not going to be like, you're trying to look like me. Uh, like similar um, stature, similar skin tone, um, you know, maybe slightly longer hair, like a little bit different, like a different color eyes or something like that. All right. So um, he was a bit of a, I say he was like, um, he was a bit of a bigger guy as the loot player. He was a bit of a bigger guy. Um, Definitely bigger than you were. Okay. So are you taking on that that same body form? Yeah, like similar form. Like not. I don't want to be precise. I don't want him to look at me and go, "You're copying me." 
Um, but like, you know, it looks like I could be a relative or something. Okay. All right. You are disguised. All right. At this point, I'm going to turn to the loot player. And I'm going to try and deceive him that he should go take a walk around the corner towards where John is. Or towards where so you're trying, to, you're trying to persuade him. Wait, the loot player, the loot player, or the flute player? The loot what? player is the leader. What's the difference? Oh, Which... the loot. I was yeah, I was going for the. Loot. The well, a okay. flute is a woodwind instrument, and a loot is a string yeah. instrument. Okay, I was going for whoever the leader oh, was. Oh, thanks, Mordecai. I'm going to try and deceive him, and get him to walk around the corner, and then just keep walking and walking and walking and walking. So wait, this. Uh... Well, it's not really deception. Uh, you're trying to persuade okay. him to go around the corner. Yes. I guess you want to roll and a then, persuasion and check. Just, yeah, and you then can bring him with. Away. Go with him. Okay. She's like, hey, I got something to show you over here. That kind of thing. Yes, one of them. All right. Well, uh, roll persuasion. All right. One d twenty. Uh. I rolled a 14. Do you uh, got a bonus is on that? Is that modified? No, uh, before bonus. Uh, so my bonus is a 5 with persuasion. So 18? 14 plus 5, doobie. No, this is a 19. Okay, so no. uh, 19. Yes, sir. Uh, he, uh, He's human. I forgot to mention these are all humans. Okay. Uh, humans get plus... Oh yeah, he, he rolled. He rolled a nineteen. Son of a bitch. Uh, he he's just like, why why do you want me to go with you over there? The the shows we got to be on in like five minutes. Like we got to go back in. We got to get ready. I I know um, I know wanna, I know why do you I'm wanna go aware. That way? Like you want to jam with us, right, man? I I totally do. I was just gonna have you come over here and take a shot before we go on. That's all. No man, we'll just grab a shot at the bar. It's fine. I walk on over. I walk on over. I see. I see that this isn't going well. I go up and I, uh, as in my new disguise self, I cast Charm Person on this guy. So you are trying to charm this person, which okay. is your last spell for the day. Mm-hmm, mm -hmm. So you attempt to charm a humanoid you can see within range. It must make a Wisdom saving throw and does so with advantage if your companions are fighting it. We're not fighting not though. If it fails the saving throw, it is charmed by you until the spell ends or until you or your companions do anything harmful to it. The charmed creature regards you as a friendly acquaintance. When the spell ends, the creature knows it was charmed by you. But I'm disguised. It knows it was charmed by you. Yeah, 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 fine. And uh, it lasts for an hour. Okay. It'll know in an hour. What's what's your DC? What's the um? It's a wisdom saving throw, but um Yeah, yeah. What uh, what does it have to hit for that? It's going against my spell save DC, which is oh god, it's only thirteen. Okay. Well he got a four. Excellent. So he he yes. is now charmed. Alright. Uh, now with he, my he now little... regards you as a friendly acquaintance. Hey, brother. You remember me from the ball the other night? We were, we, were, we were pretty good a few weeks ago, man. I don't know. You were pretty hammered, though. I don't know if you remember. Yeah, man, you were pretty but cool. I know... You were pretty cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Someone say hammered. Uh, his, his, friends, his friends look at you, and they're like, who, who is this guy? Oh, man. They don't recognize oh, you me. from the other night. This boy... This boy was fucking. This wasn't the other night. This was a few weeks ago. This boy was fucking plastered, and but but we we broke down. We we made some funky funky music together. Down down. We went down to the docks. We were playing. We were playing all night together. We hopped from bar to bar. Everyone people were following us from bar to bar. It was a great motherfucking time. The, now I know this. Two, I look around this band and I say they need someone to fill in the low end. The two and I got you. Boys. The two bandmates look at each other and then look at you and go, we. What what town were we in? Because, like, we, we weren't in Cellas a couple weeks ago. Roll Deception. Alright. Um. Sure. Uh, 17. Modified 17? Yeah, yeah, yeah. With, with my bonus, it's 17. Okay, I'm rolling.
an insight for both of them. Oh, nope. One of them fails. The other one fails. Uh, so they look at you and like, oh man, okay, you, you, I mean, so uh, you remember? We can say, we can say. You remember what bar it was? Like, yeah, man, like, my boy here remembers. You, you bullshit, what bar. you bullshit your way through it, and they're like, oh man, yeah, we were pretty plastered a couple of weeks ago when we were playing in Verdant, man. <laughs> shit was crazy. Oh, like, they we were playing. Remember in that Verdant. night? Okay, we don't even actually get to know. We don't even remember that night. Cool. Yeah, these guys, these guys, you know, like came came. We're the haggard horse. Um. And you, you just deceive your way through. Um, but they don't like they don't remember jamming with you, they just remember hanging out with you. Um oh. So I will say that if you want to play with these guys that you need to uh roll one more uh performance check, but I will give you advantage because they're kinda of buying into your bullshit. Sweet. Alright. And my performance is plus five, okay. 23. Alright, you, you, you jam out and you're just like filling these bass notes in. These guys are like, alright, alright, we could, we could work with this. We could work with this. Alright now, alright now, alright now. Alright. Um, right. So yeah, it, it is now about like 9.58. You guys need to rush back in on stage. Hell yeah. Okay, hell um, yeah. I am out of spells. <laughs> yes, you are. It's uh, so time to leave it dangerously. So you rush in, and and the manager is like, he's like, oh, there's more of you. Like, I'm not, I'm only gonna be able to pay the main band. I can't pay all of you. So, I'm not worried about money. All right, so you get on. Stage and I and, and I I doing? go to him and say I go to him and say I'm not, worried, but but you pay us what you think we're worth after you hear us play, man. Okay, he he's not paying you though. Like he's not paying you. Okay. We'll, we'll talk. We'll talk you, you about were, that. You weren't part of the deal. You're not contracted. And you all right. All right. All right. All right. All right. All right. I am here for the money. I'm here for the jams. Okay. 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 So you guys play. Uh, what, what do you? Are you gonna? How long are you gonna play for with them? I'm I, gonna say about an hour. Two minutes. About an hour. I, I only have that one yeah, song. Like I'm. I'm gonna. We're gonna. We're gonna. We're gonna. We're gonna jam the all fucking night. We're gonna get this crowd moving. We're gonna start playing some deep ass funky motherfucking shit. We're gonna push people's boundaries just a little bit, but they're gonna like it. And we're gonna. I'm gonna cast some like prestidigitation to make like sh sparks come out on stage. I'm gonna like. I'm gonna like. There's gonna be like. You know, the the there's gonna be fire going around. I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna use a little little gust to make the windows like move open at the right times during the songs. I'm gonna use just like add a little bit to every all the atmosphere and the ambiance with some cantrips I got. So you um, you, you push all this stuff. The manager's like not super happy because this isn't what he signed up for. Uh, he this yeah, was but how this is. Was, the, the I don't crowd give a damn about the manager. What's uh, the crowd doing? Are they dancing? Roll, Are they on the floor? Roll performance. I'm not, any, yes. I'm, not giving, my tricks? I'm not giving you advantage because these people are not used to this and they're actually kind of like all right, all right. taken aback. So all I'm right, not now. giving you advantage for that. Does, is it, okay. All right. So roll performance. Oh, wait. That one fell on the floor. It doesn't count. That, I'm um, fucking drunk. Let's just roll this. Okay. Nineteen. Whoa! Alright. I... Um You play very well. The band the band's um the band's, you know, really jamming, they're they're grooving together. Um, you know, you've decided to jam with these guys and not with your, your, your other people. So Yep. So your other two party members are kinda like they've just been hanging outside waiting two for you. Two party guys. members. They didn't go no, back in? Two party members. As in no well no well uh, Cleve Gorb is banned. <laughs> but I'm outside playing drums like bards, am you I are, right? You are, you are just out on the streets, just like <laughs> bumming it up. Jillian and Mordecai are just like yeah, that. consoling him about how bad his his stand up uh, comedy is. It was good, guys. You don't you don't know. It, it, it was made right. bad or puns. Uh, what even they're just, is a they're whale? Just, they're just waiting for you guys to finish up your shenanigans. Um, how long do you play right, for, right. though? Alright, we, you know, and once I get the feeling that the crowd isn't really, like... Well, no, I need a time. Just gonna, like... I need a time. An hour. You, you play we play for, for hour, one hour. Or do you play oh, until on. the end of the set? 
The yeah, end. I was just loop. saying. Uh, wait, this place closes. This place closes at midnight. Sad. We can definitely go to other bars. Okay. So. Afterwards. Okay. Okay. But now let's like let's not leave it. I'm not. I'm not all about leaving our friends out in the dark here. Yeah. You know, I'll get off stage after like you know 40 minutes or so. Like once I feel like I got my got my fix of that funky shit and no no we rocked it. No we rocked it. All right. So he plays for 40 minutes. Okay. And then it, okay. I take a bow and come off. All right, and then uh, you you're joining him off stage. Did you leave him after forty? I'm I'm gonna play for like another 10, 15 minutes. Ugh. Okay. Oh, guys, so I'm on. so I come outside to and see see these other you, guys outside. Yeah, you come outside and then um, uh, the manager stops and talks to uh, talks to uh, Nathan. And he's like, hey man, you guys are, you guys are pretty solid. You know, if you want to come back and audition, you know, we, we got openings here and there. Just come back. Feel free to audition. He talks to you for maybe like, yeah, like five minutes. And then the okay. charm spell wears off. And the guy's just like looking at you. And he's like, where's that other guy? <laughs> I'm, I'm out. I'm out. I've also dropped my disguised self out in the hall, out, out outside. So and 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 that, uh, they got they're they are they are they are spooked and they're not happy. The band <laughs> on stage, and this is like I, the main band that like plays a lot of shows in this place. Like so the the audition right. might not be a okay. thing you can do. All right. So I'm gonna go I for like, broke. Port bars. Port bars. All right. <laughs> So it's now it's now like eleven o'clock. You guys have kind of hightailed it out of there since yeah. Uh, you charmed the bandmate. Uh, you charge one of the band members. You deceive the other two. You played for, with them, even though like they kind of didn't really want one of you there. Um, you <laughs> left Jillian out in the cold. We Mordecai, found him outside though, right? Mordecai's been hanging out with with Jillian and with uh, and Kligorb. Kleegorb got you. banned because the stand-up comedy was so bad. It was and he bad. made a scene like a prima donna. Look, I flopped, okay, okay, I Mordecai, see that now. Mor- Mordecai, Mordecai just stands there and looks at all of you and just like, oh, I hope you, uh, hope you all enjoyed your first night at this place. We have a long adventure ahead of us, though, so we probably should get some rest. Y'all Sounds want to get stanky, bad. but there's going to be plenty of stank coming up, guaranteed. I like the sound of that. I don't. Yeah, he's, just like, he's just like he just like he's just like talking. He's like, "There's gonna be plenty of flimsy, filthy, stankiness going on in the next <laughs> couple of couple of adventures we got going on here." So let's get a good night of sleep. Uh, I, I, such a I can be down. I, I I actually can be down with that. All right, so you guys uh, head back to the Bard's College. He shows you, like um. The Tabaxi, uh, Sheila, 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 Sm- uh, was it Little Paul? Yeah, Sheila, Little Paul. I gotta write that down. Yeah, hey, remember that joke I told? It went over way better than the other jokes I told. Them. <laughs> <laughs> Sheila looks and she's like, I bet, I bet you, I, I bet you were really funny. That's, yeah, I'm sure. Mm-hmm. I was, I was. Okay, okay, mm-hmm, yeah. Uh, your yeah. rooms are down the hall. Uh, you each have a separate room. Um... And if you need anything, you know, in the morning, uh, we can we can show you where to get a nice breakfast, and then uh, guys will be on your way. Shows you to your rooms, and you guys All like right. take these like guest rooms in the in the college in the Bard's College. I resist the urge to further flirt flirt with Sheila. You are. I thirsty. don't do it. You are thirsty. I just no, I don't do it. I I go like you know this is kind of getting professional. Like I'm not gonna do it. You're yep. not gonna charm her. Do you have to roll to resist the urge? <laughs> oh yeah, do I have to roll or do I just no, or should can, I can I just make the decision you, not you to? You can make the decision not to. Okay, okay. Alright, and, and that's that's where we're gonna end episode one. Oh, All right. Excellent. Okay. So, yes, PG. The acquaintances are made, the shenanigans have begun. Shenanigans. I have my hands full with you. <laughs> you have no idea. It seems as if the party has decided that Harmony is going to be the first, uh, the first uh, place we tackle. Sounds good. Well, we're going to go to Ver- aren't we going to go to Verdant?
And yeah, like, Verdant, Verdant is the, Verdant's the first place oh, you have to go. No shit, we should have asked game. that. We should have asked that band about Verdant. They just came from there. I suggested that no one. <laughs> you weren't there. No one wanted to do that. Klingorb, you weren't there. I suggested we ask the bartender about Verdant. Well, he told you that. No, that was the bartender. But we know that the yeah. band came from there. You guys got me like five drinks after that. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> all right. So the uh, we're, right. A, a, and I'll, I'll leave it all for um, the next episode. We're, we're on the road to Verdant City. If anybody gets a Pokemon joke. Verdant City. Yeah. So there so were many burns to be had. Yep, that, and that's the Excellent. episode. So thank you guys for watching. Um, I hope this was a success. Please let me know uh, what you what you think. Uh, hit that follow uh, button. Uh, check me out on Twitter at Dr. Doobie. Uh, D-R-D-O-O-B-I-3. Uh, this will be a Monday night thing. Uh, there'll be a few Monday nights here and there where we're not going to be able to stream just because of some stuff that everybody has some some stuff to take care of and then other times if we can't get the full party together we might do a one shot might do a small you know small little thing um so yeah please join us for this uh, this journey this is going to be a lot of fun i have a lot of excitement and a lot of anguish with these idiots um and i love them to death <laughs> so we oh hell yeah you, we will catch you next time when we figure out this band's name um and that's the name of the show so right now it's Untitled Dr. Doobie D&D Project. Is that called Kleegorb and the Five Bitches? No, and because he left, we all the video got messed up. So I'm switching oh. screens. All right. Hey! We, we will see oh, you guys back, next time. Thank you for watching. Uh, and definitely let me know what you think. Very Peace fun, out. guys. Thank you all for the first time. Goodbye. Bye. So long. Yeah.